Like, I couldn't give her the same amount of respect no more. You know what I'm saying? I was like, you a sex worker. <laughs> and she was like, that, like, you said it to her as it was happening in the conversation? Yeah. So I told her she was a sex worker. She was like, no, I'm not. I like, by definition, you is. She was like, no, I'm not. And so I was telling her she was sex Oh, worker. I might need a joint. Hold on. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling her she's a sex worker because she sell fantasies to dudes. No, look, I got the census pulled up for top occupations for females in America. And mm -hmm. sex worker is not on there, but strip is number three. No, nah, no, nah, I'm telling you, by definition, she's a sex worker. No, nah, she's just a stripper. No, nah, fuck census. They don't know yeah. nothing. Now y'all don't <laughs> well, the census. They, they can't even count all the Mexicans in one house. <laughs> Now y'all don't want to use the census, but last week's show y'all wanted to use the census and the stats and all that. A stripper is a sex worker. A sex worker. She sell a fantasy. Mm -hmm. That is a sexual fantasy at that. That is okay. a sex worker. I'm not saying she's a prostitute. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying she's. But said that's it. not always true. Every time somebody comes to the strip club, they don't want a sexual fantasy. They want to be entertained. Yes. There's a uh, lot of people who go on. Yes. Do you know what the entertainment is? You shaking your ass, a sexual Anybody fantasy. Anybody who's having sex is a sex worker. I'm not having sex. By definition, what makes you a sex worker is having sex. No, I it don't. don't. You can't make up a definition time. for a word that I already got a definition. <laughs> Uh, hey, keep it a bead though. I don't go. I don't go to the strip club for the tennis. I go for. I go for the chicken ones. I, so was, if we're going off of your definition, right? Anytime you have sex with anybody, you're now a sex worker. No, it's not my definition. It's the definition. Okay, like I don't have words that I own. Oh, so anytime you take off your shirt, that's stripping too, right? So are you I'm, now a sex worker? No, I'm not. I'm, I'm, I'm not. not listen, listen the right difference is. is I'm not selling a oh, fantasy. Okay. If I took yeah. off my if I took off my shirt, I'm not. You might be cool thinking you look good as fuck. Babe, I'm fat as fuck. Well, who wants that fantasy? Well, I well, no, women shirt. like fat guys nowadays. Well, not me, but women do like fat guys, so it's okay. I like me. I like men a little pregnant. I ain't gonna lie. A little pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as I see a man take off his shirt, he's now a sex worker. No, no, no. Listen, you trying to move the goalpost? I like it, but by by oh. definition. If you got only okay, you okay, you're not gonna win this 2K. She drinking beer out of a mug. <laughs> <laughs> you're not gonna win this. Baby. <laughs> she thinks she got David Buster, but nah, <laughs> she, got, she got a whole cup full of Budweiser. Nigga, let it go. It's not so, like long. But listen, ain't nothing. Listen, you you respect it in your field of work. I'm not mad at you. I'm just saying, but the title is the title. Well, I just looked so at the definition. Let me read it. It says a person who whose work involves sex acts. That's what the definition is. What, what is you grinding on my dick? Is that a sexual act? Who's saying that I'm the type to grind on dick? How you, hey, you better? How the heck you getting the money off the floor then? Because uh, you, what you doing in the champagne room? You better do some type of grinding with that, that young MA behind you. Do you think I in the champagne room? <laughs> hey, she lied. Nah. Hold on, wait. So you'll do no lap dances? <laughs> I'm doing lap dances. Okay. I, I appreciate you being honest because you look like you're being story. Yeah, this it's okay. Everybody's been honest. You know, 2K has cheated. Quinn has slept in bed with friends. We all have had an honest moments on these panels. LaJoy, so that, that, they was all piss on here before, LaJoy. They, they worse than you. Hey, LaJoy, we can cuddle and I will not touch you. I promise. Well, that's oh. not me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just, He's done it before. He's done it before. Right? I believe him. Yeah. I just don't want to be in this label or stereotype because of what I do for well, quit your job. purposes and or hobbies. Quit your job. You ain't gotta quit your job. You that's her living. Uh, well, my, that's what I'm my saying. What? Well, you sound like that's Usher. Not my living. That's not my living. No, 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 no. Let's stop this. My living is I'm a real estate agent. I'm also a hairstylist, a makeup artist, but I am not just a dancer. That is something I do because I like to do it and I do it for fun. Do I need to do it? No, but I like to do it. Don't nobody script for fun. <laughs> if it's so, Lejo, if it's so I'm fun right fun. now, I got Le a Joy, in my house. Lejo, if it's so I'm fun, it, it, Lejo, if it's so fun, I like to do it. 
Yo, we need joy. Yo, we need joy. Coming down to Coming the motherfucking stage. stage. Oh. Come on down Come to the stage. stage. <laughs> hey. Yeah, I like this song. Let's go, let's go, let's go, no. Let's we go, like let's it. go. We all like this go. song, hey. Let's uh, <laughs> why you ain't having fun, Joy? What the fuck? I'm not buying you up with that one. I'm sorry. <laughs> Yes, yes. You know what? I want to say, you know, this this is not even a topic we're talking about, but I do want to say good afternoon, good morning, good evening to whoever is watching and tuning in. Make sure you guys hit the like button. Make sure you guys follow these content creators on their channel. At the end of the stream, we'll definitely give their time, their shine, so you can know where to follow them. <coughs> Hold on, I gotta um. Let me say, let me say this. Shout out to my girl Randy. I didn't even know you was pulling up tonight. Oh yeah, Randy. I have a my... soft spot for women with black curly hair. That shit is so sexy. All three. Like all all, all, all y'all niggas up wait, top. Wait. That shit is gorgeous. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. He said white women stop. It's crazy. Cat. You got all the light skinned women at the top. Damn, like just fuck these. Let me, 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 let here in Detroit with me. That's my baby girl. Um, I got to be on my best behavior tonight because Randy know me in real life. You know what I'm saying? That fucking hair is fucking gorgeous. Randy, Randy can Randy can pull up on me in real life, so I got to be nice tonight. No, you be you. Yeah, Randy, call him out on his bullshit because he be bullshit. Tell us that nigga be driving around in a Honda Civic. <laughs> Good fucking luck. She caught you slipping in a Honda me. Civic. You need to get a panel. You need to get a panel full of Anton X's. I'm I'm to my all low from high school. Where, where, hold on, wait, 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 wait. Randy, know what I drive? Thank you. We 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 know his car. Is... Yeah, yeah. It's a very nice car. Ooh, okay. Does it, have, okay. Does, it have, does, it, does it have an H R on it? Right. Does it have a who? An H. -R? H. Uh, no. H we don't get that joke, Quinn. I was just fucking with you. Yeah, that joke in Atlanta. So I have a question. Do we have um? Is this like other social medias? Like we can't cuss or like say the N word? No, nope, you can. You can say whatever you want. Just don't say the P E D O word. Oh. Hey, I can't do it because hey, when I look at her. Based on what 2K said, she likes shit in the VIP lounge. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. The like red couch. The red couch. With the hookah. Yeah. <laughs> but no. Uh, so nice. Hey, but the aesthetics in her say, house. Boy, nice go in and 2K. Say what you want to say, okay? But. Hey, La La Joy, hold on, LaJoy. Have you ever been to, you ever been to Detroit? They go to Elva Tyson. Yep. <laughs> Over back. It take that nigga five minutes. <laughs> Y'all, we, we talked about this before the show started. Y'all, that's some cock blocking haters. I, I didn't right? talk about nothing. That was all 2K. I no, it was Quinn and 2K. They, I'm snitching. Yeah, I'm snitching. <laughs> hey, so what did they, they say, King? I get what they say? Joy, if he tells, if he asks to fly you out, come to Detroit, decline him. That no, that's not what Quinn, Quinn said. said. Oh, now hold, we on, on. hold on, now I'm about to use the mute button. Uh, Joy, is that true? What? Quentin and 2K said, don't listen to me. Yeah. Don't. Yeah. Oh. I don't believe her, bro. If you I've put, heard about you before if, I seen your face. If yep. you put Joy Brain in a bird, it'll fly backwards. But he she, should believe. She don't he remember believe nothing. Me he should believe me because he, he, he should believe me. Yo, Joy, I think I think you like to make shit up. I feel like Mars. She's telling the truth. I don't make shit up, bro. I said this right here. I said, Joy, when you come on here, you're gonna get a job opportunity, a flight to Detroit, and some course-sized tickets to the Detroit Pistons game. And my the fucking flight. He said that. He did say that. He said decline it. Wait, 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 wait. First of all, I didn't hear him say the declining part. I heard him say the piston seat stuff. Yeah, he did say. First of all, who, what woman that has ever come here has not been treated like a queen, taken care of? Treated like a queen, taken care of, and and made sure that they've been had the greatest accommodations. I know you see Young and May walking around in her background. 
That's a, <laughs> <laughs> she ain't gonna she ain't gonna play with it, bro. Wait, some of y'all don't know. LaJoy doesn't know. LaJoy, this is Anton Daniels' platform, so he has like multiple channels. So this, this is, is this channel. is all of our platform. We all friends. This is his channel. Yeah, this is. Shit. Okay, it's so nice to meet y'all. I really, I really, ex I'm excited. I'm oh yeah, she's she has true. I'm she not doesn't. taking anything to <laughs> if, you, if, you not, if you don't you don't have to admit your connection to Oklahoma City, you can get off and stop. You don't have to go to Detroit. Nobody wants and Quinn, you don't even like black women. Stop. Joy, he don't even like black women. He, like he, he talks like he don't like black girls. He don't. Wow. He, like he, he talks like he loves white girls and maybe he, he a Mexican. But it gotta be it gotta be the white, it gotta be the white Mexicans. It can't be the, the, the colored Mexicans. That's a fact. His chick right now is 55 and Quinn is 37. A white mm. lady. Boy, Q, you a snitch. <laughs> Boy. Is she a white lady? Is she thick? You say what? No. Is she thick? Yes, she, th yeah, she thick. Mm. Is she, she rich? Than... No. Then she who? Get... No. Mm. Then who? The only thing you think about that, the only thing you think like about that white girl is the poor. You got mommy right? issues? No, she has a... That ass in the tight vagina. Oh, okay. And the only person that wanted to use <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't understand what's the problem. The only person that was like, here goes some vagina is 53. Yep. Dude, yeah. That's oh, person. yeah. That's one, that's, that's one, per, that's one person. That's one person. That's wild. He's not getting no bonus of vagina. Don't, don't, don't listen to Q. Q be making shit up. Okay. Oh, Everything person. I said was right, though. Old white lady. Nigga, old white lady, nigga. I have. That's what I said, lady. Ladies that are. No, uh, you you talked to one lady. You just took her to Hawaii. Five? Don't cap now. What? What are you? You <laughs> saw me in person with a black girl, <laughs> motherfucker. You she saw me in person with a black girl. She had a whole man and she's pregnant now. She was a prop. Was, was that your beard? She was a prop. He knew he could <laughs> take the, right. he he the white girl to the to the Anton and shit. Oh, exactly. he brought a white. He brought a white girl too. That was his. That was his brother's white girlfriend. We can't, baby mama. We can't count her. We can't count her. That wasn't but even. Know, hey, no, we might be able to count her. We don't know their relationship. I don't care who baby mama she is. But y'all <laughs> gotta keep it a bean, though. Look, he look, could, look, look, He could have gone ahead and tapped it before he came out. Sure. This is no, why y'all can't no. do. This is why y'all can't do quit like that. Keep it a bean. Y'all black women when talk to him, this nigga ain't got one lick of facial hair on his face. <laughs> Y'all black women ain't gonna fuck with this nigga. Yeah, <laughs> no, my mustache thicker than his for sure. Hey, if if, if LaJoyce ain't quitting that work, she knew she was gonna get rich that night. <laughs> <laughs> don't she knew she was like gonna get rich. Like him. Huh? Oh, well, you know what? You're right. I would go for him because y'all type of customers, y'all want too much. Y'all mm -hmm. want people to do tricks, climb up the pole, go to the top, hold your head, head. come back down to the splits, bounce your butt cheek one at a time. Y'all come with too many instructions with not enough money. And give you $5. Whoa, That's what? not a whoa, 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 you, you, whoa, whoa, you here to whoa, work whoa. or not? Yes. No. So what you want to do? Just sit on the stage in your style? This no. This is not bad work. quitting night either. Y'all niggas need to calm that shit down. Look like she be doing I, got the a, the I got at least three weird ass friends that would date you for sure. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why they gotta be weird? Because <laughs> you give vibes of dating friends. weird bitches that like anime. I like anime. He be like smelling a, he, like he, like he be smelling he be smelling they pudding. <laughs> Don't start that too, K. <laughs> <laughs> oh he be smelling they panty pudding, man. What two K? What what is a panty pudding? Panty pudding? Oh, panty pudding. Oh, you know what it is. You that white shit y'all be leaving y'all panties. It's what you're saying? Yeah, panty pudding. What? I, I want you to stop fucking talking to me for go, the rest. Go, nah, go pick, pick up. Go, go pick up. Okay. You got some. You got. You got some drawers on your on your shower floor right now. Go no, pick it up, man. That white shit in the inside. That's panty pudding. That oh, sounds God. like that sounds like you have thrown off her pH balance, and she no. needs to drink some more water or get a Z pack. If you from okay. the hood, it might be green. The, the colors can vary from my chart to my <laughs> I chart. Sounds like chlamydia, huh? I told him that. Uh, I said that's an STD. Chlamydia, yeah. clear. I I know what chlamydia look like. It's so you white. had it. You <laughs> had it right. That's the one you had. Yeah, yeah that damn cute. <laughs> my fourteen year old down here right now. Let me let the record show, Dominic. These not my normal friends. I just met these. <laughs> 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 
So Q, I, well, I only know one of them. I I'm never go got it. In the car. I, I got Bro. my I got my my chart expunged, so I ain't none of that shit on my resume. <laughs> Yeah, so can you stop bringing up the pain? We, we, we are better. Okay, let's start the show, y'all. This is a good little intro. I'm gonna read this. This was the intro. <laughs> <laughs> this wasn't even the show. We were just talking. Oh, yeah, no, I see that edible. This is crazy. <laughs> you gotta give her credit. She the first woman that made me laugh on this panel. She said, God damn, Quinn had a 35th birthday anime. Look at God. I just fucking this shit. Look at him. God is working tonight. I'm going to let you know. Say it again. That, that's because Logic is in. Is he in Germany He's still? He's in Germany. Yeah, Logic, in your Germany. audio went out. Logic, say it again. Your audio went out. All right. Can you hear me now? Yeah, Yo. go ahead. No, I'm saying we need to give her credit, though, because this nigga did have a 35th birthday theme, Goku party. And <laughs> what? Go, I go look it. on his IG. Go look on his IG right now. I know it. <laughs> what are you talking about? Hey. <laughs> Soon as they called him out, this nigga start doing a little dance. <laughs> no, what? What? Yeah, yeah, I, 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 I don't have no anime on my, on my uh, IG. What you mean? Hold on, I gotta go look at my shit. Oh my god! It's <laughs> <laughs> about to be a long show. Mm-hmm. But let me, right. let me no birthday parties on my IG, nigga. What you talking about? The joint, just a long <laughs> show. This, this is about to be a long show, but it's yeah. okay. You know what we're gonna do, and y'all, we just joking with Quinn. Don't DM me saying I'm being too hard on Quinn. Get get, get out my DMs. Like <laughs> they, 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 they like, people go, tell me to stop fucking with Q and Anton. He's like, he's like, you didn't stop fucking with Q and Anton. They don't like you, bro. We just joke. Like y'all, y'all just. They was so mad. Pew, they were so mad that we were laughing. They were like, oh my god, y'all didn't have to laugh that bad. Y'all too sensitive. <laughs> But let me get to these super chats, then we gonna actually start the show. This was a good little intro, little laugh. It's gonna be a long night. Um, 2K speaking facts. Hey now. Um, we got Logic and 2K back to back. Cuban cooking with the panel. Thank you, sir. Quinn, we ain't forgot about Saturday. This better be the <laughs> most tumble. Hey, Q episode. <laughs> Look, Joy, you in Houston? If so, what club you work at? I don't think she live in Houston. We'll get back to that. Um, man, get some edible players up here what, tonight what? on the woman. Um, all y'all ninjas married or with old white ladies. Here, Max, that woman, all your ninjas married or with all Hey, hey yo! <laughs> <laughs> no, they was asking, Salute. LaJoy, what city are you in? <clears throat> I'm in Dallas, Texas. Oh, she? <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, yeah, you see where that cabaret is. They be shooting up there and shit. That's Anton's favorite, Texas city. Oh, no, oh logic is back. And shout out to Q and AD for the lit Monday night. 2K funny as hell. But I don't work in I got fired from there. How did you fired from a strip club? Hold on. <laughs> I'm <laughs> interrupting the speaker. I don't know. Yeah. Hey, Wait, baby. This, hey, I, when we read the super chat, just treat it like, you know what I'm saying, when the money start raining. You just be quiet and dance. Y'all so. ain't shit. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> you can talk shit right back to them, my boy. Happy early Earth Day in case I don't want to watch the live stream then. Thank you, sir. Wait, one question before we start. How you get fired from a strip club, though? I you had check- a fight a couple weeks ago. You fought another stripper? Mm-hmm. Y'all was fighting over dollars? I didn't know that was possible. Hell nah. No. <laughs> I, got, I got a question, Joy. No. Joy, I'm sorry. I got a yes. question. How do you know what is your money? I always get confused at the strip club when y'all stand beside each other. And the that's money what they was fighting over. <laughs> Not you know? was it? How do you know? <laughs> well, well, some girls go in as partners. I'm a solo dancer, so if I'm on stage by myself and you throw me money, it's mine. If we have a section, then anybody that's in a section will split the money. Oh. So you got to trust strippers to be honest with the count? Yeah. No. Usually y'all can count it together or usually it's like a house mom. If they have house moms, they'll count it. Or if they have someone in the cage, which is like the money counting. <laughs> if y'all have bigger bills and y'all want to change in y'all ones, y'all will let them count it so they can give y'all bigger bills and not have ones. Okay. 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 Well. It depends. Stripper 101. Yeah, I ain't know that. <laughs> I never knew. I just see them all dancing in the same spot and it's all on the floor. I'm yeah, like, I, I had to split it evenly, but yeah, whatever's okay. on the floor, they have to split. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, we're gonna go into a little icebreaker because this honestly, this been trending with these old people dating these young people. 
Um, recently, Oki Lee Simmons spotted lock and lips with 65 year old businessman Victor Asaf on St. Bart's. Then we had Keisha Cole, who is 42, seen now singing Love in the Club with a 24 year old rapper. So, do you guys think that this is the new trend? People, women going after younger men or women going after young, uh, older men? Like, is this the new trend of dating? It's the young one. Absolutely but- not. Dating older oh, is probably five year old. Yeah, I don't approve of it. I don't rock with it. But dating older is as old as human mankind in real life. So I, I don't. I think I think that people do it to take advantage of other people and to keep their thumb on other people and to keep them under their rule most times. But mm. most people know what game they playing when they start playing it. Free our kid. Free our kid. Free our kid. Free our kid. No. no. Yeah, I really had thought she was a decent person until you made that comment. I pretty much a kid. I can mess with kids. Don't you ever think I'm a decent person? That's your first one. Oh, oh, yeah. Right out the window, boo boo. Right oh, out yeah. the window. Please keep it out the window. Okay, he's a whole piece of shit. Listen, bro. These folks ain't doing Our kid didn't do nothing different from the folks, bro. Keisha Cole, disgusting. That, that dude talking to that little baby, that's all of his disgusting behavior, bro. Now, no, I know they're that, legal. It, it, like, no. He had he had rumors on illegals. Listen, okay, listen. If you just fucking her, cool. If you just fucking him, cool. But to start a relationship with a kid, that's different. Hold on. So it's okay to fuck a kid, but it ain't okay to love on the kid. Absolutely. So 2K, would you want somebody to fuck on your kids? No. You got kids. Well, yeah, when they get older. Well, 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 well what? No, so listen. <laughs> if she 18, and my daughter 18, and she fuck go fuck this older dude, that's cool, but bringing him home and thinking that I, and thinking that I supposed to think that y'all got something that's relatable oh, is crazy. Right. Okay, got- Kelly was messing with underage kids. What are you talking about? Don't relate what? it to eight year old. Man, they were hot, man. Come on now. You know Chicago. Let's be honest. Them don't look. Listen, cuz when I was sixteen, red flag. There ain't no red flag. Red when I was sixteen, red flag. Red flag. No, when red I was sixteen, flag. when I was sixteen, when none of the girls fucking sixteen year old boys. They were fucking the coach. They were fucking big homie there from the hood and the drug dealers. Y'all know what? Y'all know what? from the hood, drug hood and the drug dealers. Y'all act crazy if y'all want to. But they were all lame. They were all lame, and they were all sex. They were all sex a. And y'all was giving them all pussy. That was not. And they were all. They were all. They were all predators. And they was all getting pussy. That's crazy. Two K. Hey, y'all got to be real. Two K. Right. The mom. The parents knew about it. Mm -mm. The teachers knew about it. The dope boys in Atlanta. They used to pull up to pick the chicks up right from school. Everybody knew about it. It okay, was tolerated across the board. But that doesn't make it okay, though. Well, that what, 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 it, it, was tolerated once upon a time. That means it's okay? Yeah. The government no, no, no. knew point about point. it. The, the president knew about it. The governor of the states knew about it. The mayors of the cities knew about it. Did that mean it's okay because it was legal at some point? No. It ain't, a, it ain't oh. about it, though. But when you got something like that, you tolerate it for so long, and then it becomes a thing. Say, no, I look at that picture right there. With the little sixty-five year old nigga kissing that little, well, how old that girl is? About 21. 21. See that, that that that's disgusting to me. Yeah. But see, I can I can look at it and see the benefits for her. You know what I'm saying? She got a ain't the nigga a billionaire or some shit like that. Mm-hmm. She just left in the croak over. Yeah, and then I can look at the benefit on the downside. But because you know what I'm saying, he gets some little little. You know what I'm saying? Some some uh, angry say. It. But you, what's her you, benefit? But what's her benefit though? She's from an affluent family. It's not money. Money. No, no, no. money. Just just know. Know. No, no. no if 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 it, money is going out. Yeah, if you didn't taught you anything, out. these niggas ain't got no money like they say they got. Russell, you know has, Russell has money. Russell has long money. I think this more so goes towards it's you always marry up. You don't marry down. So she would be if she wants to be putting her time into a situation. I agree with you guys in regards to it being inappropriate and him being way too old. But think about back in the day when when kings had children, they didn't go marry a peasant. It was a whole Princess Diana was not accepted in 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 the the royal family because she was not royal blood. 
Like that's that's a whole thing. So it's the same thing financially. When you're a rich person, you want when you're a wealthy person, you want your child to marry wealthy, and you try to make that happen. She could have got an NBA player, but she chose a 63 year old dude. I agree. I agree. because he got long money. He got long NBA money. players. She too scared for NBA players. You know, NBA yeah. players want them BBLs and them strippers. And I don't like you know how y'all treat, treat the skinny cheeks. I I swear I don't. Even yeah. though y'all y'all news be looking like X rays. But y'all need to start putting some uh, respect on the, the, the petites, man. Real talk. <laughs> Little booties matter, man. We ain't got to hey, I, I be, I be, I be fucking with you to TK, 2K, however you okay, yeah, like, right. And then you say some shit that's like a, a backwards compliment, bro. <laughs> Baby, put on your seatbelt. <laughs> I ain't even got into the bag yet. I like to fight. Oh, you like to fight? Do. Okay, now. Don't well, she's in Detroit. Yet. That's Detroit. See, that's what happened at the strip club. The girl, the girl <laughs> said that. <laughs> I thought she was gonna say. I thought she was gonna say like potato salad or some shit like that. So I, <laughs> you said egg salad. <laughs> Peach cobbler is crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, this is funny. Oh my god! No, but you were explaining is. that you got in a fight after the same scenario. But what happened, Joy? <clears throat> That's what she said. I'm getting ready to leave the club. And she was like, yeah, you know, you just, you in a place of drugs, money, and and people, you know, with ego. So she, if they see you making money, it's going to always be some type of weird energy. So I was just on some shit like, why the fuck y'all standing by me? You know what I'm saying? And then she was like, because I love to fight. I'm like, are you good at it? Because I can just go ahead and mop you up and go to Waffle House. I like Waffle House. Okay. Straight like that. Was she good at it or was you better? No, I was way better. And they told me, security, security, <laughs> you gotta go. You gotta get the fuck. So I was like, cool. Do strippers get uh, discounts at Waffle House? No. Yeah. <laughs> no. No, they don't get discounts. They get free hash brown, though. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all is a mess. Man, why you put me and Logic on the pallet together, bro? Oh, no, it's about to be a long night. But let's get into our first topic. Hold on, wait, 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 Q. Somebody wait. did say her, her, her stripper name should be Collard Greens. <laughs> so, hey, look, I agree, though. I think, look, chat, y'all help her out, though, because um, we don't like Peach Cobbler. Put what her wow. new stripper name should be. No, it, it fits. Like, I see, like, the crust and, like, kind of pink. I get it. Like, yo, to be honest, we don't care. That's not that's not crust. That's styling jail, nigga. No. <laughs> <laughs> that is a mess. That's not what I meant by crust. To be honest, we don't, we don't care what a scribble name is. <laughs> oh my god, y'all is a mess tonight. But let me read this one super, super chat. She work at DJs or Onyx. She quit. Remember, she got fired. She was just telling us a story. I don't work at DJs. They got a whole bunch of rules. Onyx, we don't even have one of those. Ari, right, you got that little butter fro out of the night, though. That nigga said they got rules. God. Just because Ari looking hot tonight and she was a year off of guessing my age. Shout out to you, Empire. Don't know what that mean. But, but how old is he? He's 49. Oh, okay. Yeah. I just know. guessed it by looking at him. He's 49. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Me, hold on. Before we go to this next subject, do y'all prefer older guys? Yes. Yeah. My husband's 26, 20, gonna be 27. Oh. How old are you? How, how old are you? I'll I'll be 25 in October. That's oh. older girl. Girl, oh, that don't that's, really count. That's the same age. It's like five years. You got five years up or down. It's the same age. Possible. If you don't get no check, I don't want you yet. See, a fucking sex worker. 
Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. 2K, 2K. I don't think that's a sex worker because that's a lot of women's logic nowadays. If a no, I'm talking about her, her mindset. Is is that that of a sex worker? But if that that's a lot of women's no. mindset regarding the bag. So are they sex workers? Yes, they say a forty dollar pussy. Yes. No. You got a point. No. 2K. I think most women like older guys though. I like older guys. No, I, right. I know wrong with older. Guys. That has nothing to do well, with why? Not, why like why not like 65. Not like 65. Here's a question. Here's a question. Why do y'all like older guys? Because Big Up going to give you less resistance. 2K, you date older guys? No. Uh, no. Me? Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Absol I mean, you absolutely. Answer. You answered for the ladies. I, I, I can what? tell you why. But there's older men, but there's what? older men who like younger women, though. So can we talk about they usually are the initiators? And they the ones who can come out and actually prove more to even get the younger women because they already got a one up on the younger guys anyway. So you step into mm -hmm. it in a situation where you already know you're going to win over this young mm -hmm. dude. He ain't into his bag yet. He don't know himself yet. He just walking around here just trying to get some pussy. You know how to manipulate the mind already. You 50 years in the game, 60 years in the game. You got generations over this girl. So a lot of the older men go after the younger girls anyway. But here's here's my question though. Why do y'all like the older guy though? They looking for their daddy. No. Because no. he got money. No. no. Yeah. We look at the no, it's a, no, we it's a better ability. mindset. And it's we, a we say that from older all pictures, not just financials, because there's some older guys, there's some broke ass older men who got some younger girls. <laughs> it's always just about the security too. What's up? What do y'all consider old? Though? They don't have money. They got a young girl. I ain't got no bag. Well, hold on. Wait, huh? wait, wait. So, so let me let me define. If you ten this. years older than your partner, that's like an older people. That that's what I. So that's what I was. That's why I asked. What do y'all consider old? Because I was gonna say like ten years is old to me. And you know what? But our bag ain't what you think it is. Mm -hmm. You looking at that that Chanel bag and thinking that I got a bag because I can get that for you. That's not really a bag. I, I, I y'all think I be playing when I be making the poverty streaking jokes, but if I take a chick from the hood to Red Lobster, that's her no. five star restaurant. It's not. It, if I take her to the Lewis store, that's that's not that's no. a happy meal for him because the bag different at the age. Wait, wait, wait. If you take her to the Lewis store, that's what? <clears throat> that's that's a happy meal for a dude with my income. She think I'm popping, but this just uh, this this average. That's no, how big uncle them get over. You looking at the early 2000 <clears throat> tricking. This is 2024 tricking. See, you I don't like that word tricking. Why you giving me a, a derogatory term? No, 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 okay, no, I'm learning no, no, some no, shit. No. Wait, wait, what, you, what do you mean by what do you mean by this 2024? <laughs> uh, huh? LaJoy, what do you mean by this is this is uh 2024 tricking? We're looking at 2024 time. So, you know, we do have a lot of younger girls that are going on social medias and looking at what other women are getting from social media and or their lifestyles. So for me, I'm not going to take a restaurant as a trick for me. Oh, what you where you could take me for me is like, what can you do? What assets do you have? That's what the type of men I'm looking at. And the so, younger girls let, let, now, they want other things other than going out to a nice restaurant. If you can take me on a trip, they want you to trick hard. They want you to take your time out and show that you're interested. So let me, let me, let me say this, though. Show that they with a man with money. Let me say this, though. Um, I think that a lot of that shit that be happening on social media is cap. Honestly. It is. Yeah. I, don't think that, I don't think that these chicks is really getting it the way that they portraying themselves to be getting it. I don't think that dudes is spending crazy money on it. Come on, man. Listen, it's only so many of us. I'm going to be real with you. Like, it's only so many of us. And for most of us, I know that you're going to fuck for clout. Like, I know man. I ain't got to spend no money. If I really want you, I don't really have to spend no money on you. You know what I'm saying? Like, I really don't. You Most of the time, a lot of these chicks is getting into the room because they want to be associated in the first place. So they fucking for they fucking for nothing. Actually, I believe that the dudes that's really spending anything on these chicks at all is the regular dudes. Thank you. Because they're trying to keep up when they don't even really know that the dudes that got it a lot of times, they not really spending it like that. And the dudes yep. that is the dudes that is spending it like that, they getting it fast. And so I think that the dudes that really had to grind or the dudes that really came up. 
they not really spending no money on a chick unless they getting money too. Like y'all be fucking the rich nigga for free. You gonna have to get some money with me. We gonna have to get some money together. But I don't really know dudes that got it out the mud. Like I mean, yeah, you can go and deal with these broke these football players. They're gonna be broke after a couple years after they get out the league anyway. They don't even really make that much money. Um, it's the, the top top dudes get money. But the regular fucking football players, the regular NFL players, the dudes that just made the fifty man roster, they're not really getting no money like that. And Fifty four. Yeah, they, they not they they not really they not. But well, I'm talking about the practice squad too, right? They not really getting the, getting that money like that. So when I see a lot of these women on social media and they flaunting um, whatever the fuck is going on, most of them they not really getting no money like that, in my opinion. They try opinion. y'all. They fuck the, the rich niggas for free, and they try to get the broke niggas to pay their cell phone bill. I yeah. see it every day. Are y'all talking about just? Are y'all talking about just just fucking, or are y'all talking about like actually dating? Well, I'm talking about you chicks. Women don't date no more. So, so That's it's this what I, was, I thought this was about dating. I but hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Fucking wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. I but hold on, hold on. Let's this. let's be clear though. Let's be clear. A lot of people, a lot of women, is being sold this dream that you got to be spending a whole lot of money on them in order to be able to get something, but in order for them to even be in your presence, As they being sold a bunch of shit. Like that's bullshit. That is not real. A lot of these women is fucking average as fuck. You know what I'm saying? And so they out here selling. They out here selling y'all a dream. And I'm not talking about nobody on the panel. I'm just saying in general, they selling this What's dream like average? a average chick. What do you mean? It, mm-hmm. It's only a. It's only a, a few top tops. If we really want to go into it, like I think that all these well, chicks. What is, is considered average? Them. What is what you would consider average? All of them. If you if you not fucking Harley Quinn, then you you average as fuck. If you asking about yourself, you you high up. Well, you high middle class. No, I think that all of them is average. No, I'm not asking listen, about listen, myself. Bro, I just okay. really want to know you, what is average. You take you and take I'm not the makeup high middle off. class, but okay. You take the makeup. What are you? Hold on, two K. Hold on, two K. <laughs> you take the makeup off of most of these chicks. They regular as fuck. But what's considered regular? What what's uh, my thing is? I'm trying to figure out what's the definition of what regular is. What considers regular? All of y'all. All of y'all. Mm-mm. Everybody have, is regular. I don't. I don't have any makeup on at all right now, Anton. Yeah, but you you know what I'm saying though. But you you don't sell it. Yours is different, Randy. Because so this not is what selling, I would consider an average really. guy. An average guy for me is a man who works a nine to five and has to get paid before he's able to do anything. A person, an average woman for me is a woman who's on welfare in any type of way. Whoa, so that's nigga. what nah, I would hell, hell, I'm a barrel, nigga. <laughs> that's poverty average stricken, man. <laughs> no, <laughs> Listen, I can tell you, I can tell you that every guy that's on this panel mm-hmm. right now. Make a lot of fucking money. Every last one of us. Every last one of us. Right? Average is a subjective word. So what I may find average, you may not find average. No, average is listen. The the real definition of average is what we see on a regular basis. That's average. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, listen, listen, you can't let her get away. She said the oh, average no, woman is on well. No, 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 no. <laughs> that was her. Y'all, I don't know where y'all getting all of these women that's getting all of this money or got these high standards. Where did y'all get these high standards from? Most of y'all is from the hood. Most of y'all is from the gutter. Most of y'all never came up with nothing. Y'all not used to nothing. Y'all don't even know what, fucking, y'all don't even know what a good steak look like. Y'all have these high ass well dreams. They wait, think wait, that wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. So just listen, because listen, a person listen. is from the hood means that they can't come out from being average if they've elevated. But elevated to, hold on, 2K. Elevated to what? How what makes what makes a woman what makes a person above average? When you want more than above average things, no. when you want to view the world more than no. just Miami no. and Miami, you want assets. A no. person who wants to invest in what they future, they want their future to be. That's, That's what makes hope. you above That's average. I don't sit in poverty. I That's think called beyond a dream. It. That's called a dream. No, I'm living in that reality. Mm. I'm living in that reality. <laughs> okay, so I don't so, just dream. so you, I wake you don't up have in to- it. You don't have I to wanted this question. million dollar home and I'm sitting in it. I'm owning it. Baby. I wanted these cars. I wanted to be able to see the world and go out of the country. I wanted that and I got that. 
Okay, but how did, okay, wait, 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 wait. That means you have a that means you have an above average work ethic. A lot of us have an above average Yo, work ethic. Oh, Randy, Randy. You you mean not real. Real. I think you, that someone 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 only living in a million dollar home is an accomplishment. No, I don't think no, that's average. not Randy, because how you got it matters just as much as if you got thank you when you want more out of life than what's stereotypical no 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 no, no, no. That is above no you average. you using yourself when as you an example you have goals and dreams you are above average okay. i know i know some other i i know I'm a lot of these motherfuckers I, don't, wait, wait, wait. I can't speak for everybody in this room i know a lot of dudes that's down in atlanta that scam their way to the top that don't make you above average that make you a fucking scammer how you get hey, it they're an average scammer Listen, but just just because, somebody, just, because somebody, just because somebody is living a lifestyle, like I said, just because somebody is living a lifestyle does not make them above average. What make you above average is doing abnormal shit to get shit that other people don't necessarily have. When I see all of these people out here and they fronting on the gram and they don't really have it, that's average shit to me because everybody is fronting and don't nobody really got it. I want to know what your net worth is. I want to know true. how it is that you can't. That's you got not true. Media. And there's people who can show what they have, and they have it. No, who? So what are they? They still average. Who? Who? Sh Who's showing they shit? She got Anybody. a million dollar house. I, I can't put a name on it. I stay in Dallas. I ain't no million dollar crib. Though. She got it. It look like a million dollar crib to me. All, all I'm saying, I ain't, this I ain't a million dollar house. Her. I got a phone call. You, you need to wipe I'm your glasses. Talking about her in particular. I'm saying in general. It's a lot of people that's out here capping. And what we seen, for example, during the pandemic is all of these motherfuckers went broke until they got that PPP money. And then they were still finessing and they still getting arrested right now. So I'm not taking none of that shit into consideration. Average is very much exactly what it is. When you see the majority of the people doing the same fucking thing and they think that they abnormal and some for some reason they think that they got these high ass standards just because they want it. But that's not what their standard is. That's not the, the lifestyle that they can maintain. If you if you stop working a day and you can't maintain the same lifestyle, you regular as fuck. I got a question. Mm. And that ain't me. A question. You said you see a, a group of people doing the same thing and they're they're all doing the same thing to, to make a lifestyle and whatnot, right? If 10% of that 100% group excels to make more money and to thrive and do better, are they not above the average person in that group, that 90%, they're yes, above they are. average they, in that they group. Are. But here's yeah. the thing, Randy. I don't believe it just because that's what they posting on the gram. Oh, at this point, we're not talking social media. We're talking, we're talking numbers. We're talking. Right. But the number, the census say, the numbers say that, for example, black women still don't even average 40 fucking thousand dollars a year. So what the, where all of this money coming from? I can see all of this money. Huh? I can see that. So I think that that's the case. Once you, once we find Wait, like what a media, did he, say? he said that. No, 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 the, listen, this, the, this is what I'm saying. We we got we got a we got our black woman in general, for example, right? Mm -hmm. If you look at the the optics, they have the highest fucking standards. But if you look at the numbers and the data, they at the fucking bottom. So what I'm trying to figure out is. Who got all of these caviar dreams? And why is every woman that we look at on social media above average, but the, the numbers and the data and the statistics is saying otherwise? They keep telling me that all of these women is starting to out earn men and they better than men. The fucking numbers say different. You know and why? Black women still is at the bottom of the totem pole when it comes to earning, desirability, and everything else. So how are we then considering women? How are people so choosy when they have the least marriage rates they have the fucking lowest, the lowest 1040s. They got the least education, the most debt. Wait, for why some reason, the only thing that we have to go off of, only thing we got to go off of is, is, is what you want. Marriage, marriage is a part of the accomplishment because society has taught women that we pretty much ain't shit if we don't have a husband, if we don't have oh, kids. Don't no, I think, hold on, hold on, but Randy, I think, I think, I think, I think, I think mm -hmm. marriage helps with generational wealth, right? Because yeah, exactly. if, you, if you look at, if you look at it, right? She's talking about a million dollar home, which is which is great, right? But where I live, a million dollar home is average. I'm from Northwest DC, it's average, right? Mm -hmm. So depending on where you live in America, maybe it's above average, but where I live in Washington DC in the DMV area, a million, a million dollar home is average. In right. Dallas, it's not, it's not average. 
she said, why does, mar why does marriage matter? And I said to her that marriage matters to some people because it's shoved down our throats that we're not anything as women until we are married, until but we I don't, are I don't think, until I don't think, so. I think I just think it helps with generational wealth. That's that. That's it. Like you need you need that family union. So, so you're saying why does marriage matter to a certain part of people? No, what, what, uh, it's not saying it's a society. What you're saying is that so much more, it's much society. Why does why does why does it matter in society? Of course, generational wealth. But let's go back further than that. Let's go back to the fact that some people were marrying off their kids for animals and things like that. So it's 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 a it's many reasons why marriages happen and whatnot for sure generational wealth can be one of them but i was simply answering LaJoy when she said why does marriage matter to anton's you know uh his conversation that's well, what no, i'm saying that marriage we always matters talk because about a million dollar home ain't average for everybody let me just say that because we're looking at percentages and we're looking at not just a million dollar house that's not just my biggest thing you know assets meaning land also properties and things like that where you're able to maintain and mm -hmm. pay your mortgage by rent and all of those other well, see, things that's my that's but my I'm thing i'm also though. saying the stats and everything else when you look at those stats how many of those million dollar homes are owned by black women but hold on that hold on, makes hold on, me a hold on, hold on. well they, they, they're all you say you say a million dollar home right i say how much equity you got in that because Wait, 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 wait. This, 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 is, this, is, this, is, this is the context. This is the context. Anybody can go and get a mortgage is what I'm saying. The equity in the home actually substantiates your net worth. So if you owe 950, but you got a million dollar mortgage, you 50,000 above. That's not awesome to me. Now, a motherfucker that own a four hundred thousand dollar home that own it outright versus a person that's living in a million dollar home and only got fifty thousand equity in it, he better than them. And so, what I'm saying is, our standards for how we evaluate what life is is off. Wait, it's but off. It's, no, but no, no. Anton, we can't say, we can't say we can't say home in time, Joy. Can I say something? People? Can I say something? We can't say a million dollar home in today's society is average. We can't say You're that. You're missing what I'm saying. We can't say that. That shit is ridiculous. You're missing the point. You're missing the point. You're missing the point. You that to me, the context matters. When somebody, That's when somebody, average achievement. everybody cannot go and get a million dollar $3 million home on mortgage right now. That's not average. California got more. California got what? more people. Listen, listen. California got more people in that state than any other state, and the average home is above a million dollars. That's why I said where you live. I'm not in California. I'm, I know people that Dallas. live in a million dollar home, but they got eight fucking people in there. You know what I'm saying? So again, I don't we we plan. We we're, we're, I'm not going off of you. I'm saying that we playing two different games. You saying living in a million dollar home. I'm saying. How much of that home do you own, and is it a hundred percent yours? That's the bank's Okay, I think I'll we're fighting two points. He's think basically think saying you have two a different target. points. Yeah, I think we're discussing two different points. Like Anton can be right, but Lajoy is also right. We Anton, you said on the Millionaire Morning Show, most most Americans are paycheck to paycheck. Yeah, most that's, of these and that's got fair. Most of these people don't got savings in their account. Lajoy is also right. A million dollar home is not average in America. Q, 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 let me say this. Q, they have a million dollar home and they fucking house broke. Yes, how Q, my Q, this is like not saying your house broke. I'm just no average home. I just looked it up. It's four hundred and four seventy. I think disconnecting the conversation. My only disconnecting is we're changing. We're changing the goalposts. At first, the conversation was okay. We don't have what we what we say we have, and then the conversation yeah. is what's the equity in what we say we have, exactly. and then the conversation is you know what, what else are, are women showing up on this or why, how else we owning this and this is going to be average. This is not going to be average. In the in 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 the conversation of numbers that I know, the median income right now for African American men is fifty thousand dollars a year i'm not talking about you rich niggas on this panel i'm talking about the niggas that's paying attention in the comments mm -hmm. but let's see but see randy the reason hold on hold on y'all hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You know the house. but randy the reason that the, the reason that the conversation is changing because 
that's what's going to continue to happen because there's no winning when you figure I, out that you have a way to one up anybody. I preface the conversation by saying that this is not about anybody on the panel. But every time you speak to the majority, every time you speak to the majority, wait, Joy, wait, Joy, you got to let him finish. Hold on, Hold on, Joy. Every if time you spend like, your cash, if you can spend somebody else's, why wouldn't you go and get a mortgage if you can have somebody else to pay for that mortgage on that million dollars? See, man, that's that scripper mentality right there, bro. See, no, 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 Joy, listen. This is, this is the perfect. This is the perfect example. We gotta do one mic while oh, well, we gotta do one mic because everybody in the chat can hear you. This is the perfect example though, Randy, because. When I was speaking, I'm speaking to the majority. If I say that this is what the data is saying, you yeah. said this is what the data is saying is about black men, right? Yeah. But then when I use that example, we go back to one person's experience. That's not normal. I'm speaking to what the standards are as far as what a lot of women are requiring from men, and they evaluating it based off of what other women are doing on social media that may be the anomaly. That's not normal. No. When we talk about what a regular woman is and but what this a regular is what, woman this is what makes me above average because I don't look at anybody else above we are not talking media. about when you it social media and what status are saying how did this become about you that strippers don't make any money how did this become no 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 I'm if we talk about her when we start talking about her million dollar house and you ask her how yeah. much she had in her million okay, dollars Fine. That's how it became about her you <laughs> said look, my, 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 so when you look oh, at those numbers and you talk about stats Listen, so my homie, he got a hundred thousand dollar hair kick. He put five thousand dollars, uh, five thousand dollars down. He got to pay ninety five thousand dollars. He got a fifteen hundred dollar car note. That don't make him have money because he in debt. He don't fucking own the car. He just paying on it. Anybody can pay on a car. Anybody can pay on a million dollar home. No, that can't. Yeah, not, not anybody. Not <laughs> no, no, but paying a mortgage, but paying a mortgage, you you're only doubling the money you're paying back to the bank. It makes By no the sense. time you get done paying for that home, you're gonna triple. pay more than triple of what it is that you mortgage. So if you pay if you have a million dollar home, I'm not I'm not and, and let's say this home. Anybody. And we could have made just as much outside, right? And also put in so much equity into that home, right? You paid triple for it. Right, but what I'm saying, okay, okay, okay. So this one, hold on, Joy. This is what I'm saying. Like to me, this is what I want to hear. Go ahead. Now it seems like to me that no matter what, you can't win. If you're a win, if you're a renter, you can't win. If you are owner of a home, you can't win. If you're owner of a million dollar home, you can't win. Even though we own how many properties? Six properties, we, we can't win this conversation. Me being a dancer for fun because I choose to go in there and dance because that's what I want to do, I can't win. So this no, is no, no, conversation no. is just a we're, little we're bit. We're not talking about you. And it's making it seem like, oh, people aren't going to be how they are on social media. I don't boast and souls on social media. But at the end of the day, I know what the stats is. When I first came in, it was funny because I was a sex worker. But then what? when I started talking about what I got little outside sex of worker. it, now all of a sudden it's still no mm -hmm. win. No, what, what, what we're saying is that you keep using you as an example. You can be a winner. Dope. Congratulations. I think that's awesome for you. I have no problem with that whatsoever. But when we're talking about the standards for women, and it just so happened to be black women in particular, they are evaluating themselves and they're, they're, they're judging themselves as above average just because they say and they are. Not that they actually are based off of the statistics, the data, and how they, live, how they live their lives and whether or not it's actually significant as far as what their finances and whether or not they're actually getting the results. Most of them are not average. I know you want to keep going back to you and that's cool. We could talk about your situation in particular, but outside of you, when we speak into the majority, that's not normal. I have a question. It's not, Anton, it's not for you. I 100% I agree with what you just said. That's not normal. You have to work hard and you have to be in the top 10% in, in, in all categories. But LaJoy, my question is to you, what's fun about stripping? Jesus Christ. I love going into my sex appeal. I like being <laughs> sexy. I like being okay. able to go out and dress up. I change my outfits three to five times a night. I love it. 
Okay. <laughs> She like working the stage. There ain't nothing wrong with it. I didn't, listen, I didn't say anything was wrong it's with it. We've been, we been, we been on the same page for fun. some of this conversation. Those tricks, that makes me feel good. Yep. So I wanted to know. No, I don't think she could hear. I think I don't think her device is allowing. Her. It's the same thing that be happening with trigger. Trigger. I think yeah, a lot of times she can't hear. It. Yeah, yeah, in real time. Yeah, I think it's in a delay. Yeah, I think it's yeah. in a day. But to go back to Joy's million dollar home, you know how much it takes to put. 20% down, that's 200,000. Not a lot of most, Americans got that. So most, regardless people don't, most people don't do that. Right, exactly. Most people are doing that 3.5. Okay, let's say 3.5, whatever. But most Americans don't have that. So regarding to LaJoy's statement, she's above average regarding you cannot put a, You cannot put 3.5 down on a custom built home. So let's oh, you can't, you, can't area. Area. you can't in the DMV area. You can't put 3.5 down. You can't in the DMV area. They, they, I'm telling you, they do it all the time. I they do it all the time. Right I got the GI bill. They do it all the time, and then, <laughs> the and, then, and, then and then you have things like, and then you well, have things like you got, you got PMR too, my nigga. Hold on, hold on. Then you have things like, 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 like no, we got to do one mic because no, we can't hear everybody. And then you, and yes, you can. And then you have, and then you have facts. If we're gonna come on this, we're gonna come out here with facts. You absolutely can, but you absolutely can do grand And then you have things like, then you, hold on. And then you have things like it depends on the area, right? Because you, um, USDA has rural, um, rural loans where you can not put not over that. a million dollars. Well, yes. okay, wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Let's just say, let's 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 let's say, let's say, let's let's say, 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 let's Americans are not have most Americans are not having thirty five. My nigga, they was going crazy with the PPP loan. That was PPP one. That was one play. Cool, that's ten thousand, but that's over. Let's talk about today. Let's just be honest. Americans are not having thirty five thousand dollars to put in a freaking home of a million dollars. People okay. are mostly paycheck to paycheck. That is not average. Let's just okay. be honest. So let that go. Let's give this stuff. Okay. But what, we, what we're talking about, but what we're talking about, what we're talking about is what is average, right? And I wasn't talking about her per se. What I was saying was that it depends on where you live because in my area, because of what most people make here, a, mil a million dollar home is average. That is an average home. So, yeah. uh, so it so in this area, nobody would be like, I live in a million dollar home. Everybody does. Yeah, but that's your area. We gotta we gotta stop making everything personal, right? We're talking about overall US. We're talking about Oklahoma. We talking about Oregon. We talking about Ohio. Nigga, why are you throwing shade, my nigga? No, I said Ohio. Also, are you from <laughs> you Ohio? Oklahoma too. I'm <laughs> thinking about the little little poor dunk states, but I'm saying overall, like Americans are not making what DC is average making. house in my zip code is nine. Okay, cool. It don't matter. But I'm just saying, overall, you guys, overall consensus, people ain't got 35 grand to put in a house, 10 grand, 20 grand. No, they don't. That's why a lot of people are renting. I just put some respect on the joy line. She ain't average, okay? Exactly. Regarding the housing this, this market, is about average. Her. Nobody was talking her. about LaJoy. That's why I didn't want to put her. It has to that's be one or the other. We either talk about that's why I didn't want to put her situation. Or broke, or we're talking about people who don't live in those broke stigmas. But I don't know. I don't even know where to go. Post is right now. Let me read these super chats. <laughs> Just because Ari looking hot tonight and she was a year off. I'm guessing my age. I guess I read that. Hope LaJoy finds her your way out the game. Um, I'm 57. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I'm 57. My wife is 29. She's a corporate tax accountant, happily married, great family, travel the world. We've noticed only in the West do people look down on age gap relationships. Most of the world doesn't think like the states. Wait, he just gave a hundred thousand. What, what, what was no, that? No, that's that's I don't know. That's in a different currency. I'm about to say now. That's how you got to split that up now. <laughs> <laughs> Shooting his shot at Randy and LaJoy off the jump. Quinn didn't speak his truth. Mm. Now he finally ready. Q, stop cock blocking Quinn. Yeah. <laughs> he likes white ladies. How the hell is that cock block? Oh, I Randy, like women. Stop Randy the is cat. married. People ain't like that in real life. Filters. Mm. Um, I know it hurts our feelings, Anton Daniels, but all money is green. 100% get money, sis. She a scribble too. She tricked to get that house. Uh, <laughs> seems like you believe she's undeserving of success. She worked hard for because you don't like how she came up. Scammers, strippers, tax, pay taxes. She a scribble too. I got wait, it. Wait, 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 w
I don't care what she do as long as it's legal. That ain't got nothing to do with me. How you choose to live your life is on you. And, and then number three, what I was speaking to is what the standards are for what a lot of women are saying that they want from men. But I don't know where they get any standards from. Not her in particular. She used herself as an example in order to straight a point, which is cool. But I'm speaking to what most women are talking about that are black women that say what they want. That's what I'm speaking about. Cool. Okay. Respect the black man. Tripper money comes from men. What an average woman is to most of us men in general is a woman that's average in the looks department. We don't care about the other stuff. Hello. I thought all strippers thought their customers were creepy. Is that fun? Um, strippers have daddy issues. Build the family back. Um, a million dollar home. That's a lot of lap dances. So y'all should get <laughs> most drinking and mortgage companies to buy y'all houses. You are not a city girl. You are a pirate. <laughs> Million dollar house that looked like a green screen. No, nah, that's that's a real house, y'all. That's, that's, that's a real house. We just saw her went back there. Uh, 199. Thank you, Cornelius. Um, the Ohio slander is crazy. Oh my gosh, she gets paid in cash under report income. Wait, wait, wait. You just said something though. When when did scammer start paying taxes? Facts. But, but, but not only that, but a lot of the high up politicians scam themselves. A lot of these rich, rich millionaires been doing some been doing some shady business. So if we talk about no, they follow in the tax code. No, they follow in the tax code. Oh, man. There's, listen, there's ways around it. Get the right CPA. And he can write yeah, the right. Yeah, that's what I said. They follow in the tax code. S corps and C corps, they do a lot of legal stuff up there. Let's just be honest. Let's mm -hmm. yeah, that's why I said they follow in the tax code. They yeah, legal. Like, AD, these ladies have moved the goalpost 16 times. They keep speaking personally. It's not about them. Again, why do average women have high expectations? Facts. First of all, Hold on one second, LaJoy. Hold on one second, LaJoy. Nobody second, wants LaJoy. a broke man. Let's be honest. No broke woman wants a broke man. What can you do with no, a broke no, man? No broke, broke woman wants a broke man? No. What can you, you a broke, broke woman, you shouldn't be wanting a man, period. <laughs> Who? I'm oh. just saying, they saying, why do people, why do women want men with money? If you broke, don't you want somebody with something? So, no, so nigga, we can be broke together and love each other. No. Yeah, I, that's <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of logic. That was a little bit of logical. I'm sorry. <laughs> she said, "Hey, I'm broke. The only thing I can do is sell this to get some money. I wouldn't do it, but to some bitches, that's all they can do." Well, no, I didn't so, say you, sell you said it. A I'm saying, plate? like, just in general, what can you talk about with somebody broke other than depression? She don't have the rest of the broke shit y'all do. Well, like, let's just be honest. If, if we're talking about broke, a lot of America's broke. Right. Hold on, wait. It's her acting like she can't have a conversation with a broke motherfucker when she broke. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm I'm broke. What's let's define broke. Yeah, is I think people are very like, what what is what is broke? Joy, what's broke to you? How much does a man make that makes him broke? What's the salary per year? I don't know. I dated a teacher and he only made thirty thousand and we made it work a little bit, but he kept having to get loans and that was kind of broke his <laughs> so I would say anyone who can't substantively pay for themselves, their needs and their wants. That's okay. Well, well, let's just be honest. A uh, teacher can play, a teacher can pay for their needs and wants. Well, did you have a problem because he wasn't paying for your needs and wants also? Absolutely, because she was broke. No, he couldn't pay for his needs and wants. Like, he would oh. want to do certain things with me, but he couldn't afford it. Hmm. Oh, he couldn't afford to keep up with your lifestyle, basically. Yes. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Or his own. Or his I know own. He, he, I mean, he didn't even have his own house. You know, let me just go into that deep. He stayed with his mom, and he only made 30000 a year. So it's like, you can't even pay for your needs and your wants. You can't even get out your mom's house. Well, so that's that's broke to me. You I'm gonna say this. No desire okay, to leave out of that. You have. You're not for me. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna say this. A lot of women I've seen this had a problem with a man living with a mama. But the I funny see. thing is, a lot of women don't have a problem a man living with a wife. They still will talk to men that's married. So they don't have nothing to do with his finances, though. The, and, and you, please, but you don't the, know. The, the like, presupposition don't, about live with your mom is that you broke. No, like, no, yeah, that, that's, that's, that's a, my brother. <laughs> my little brother is ninety k and live with my parents because my parents got a big ass house. But guess what? No, no, what no, he no. ain't gonna pay? He ain't gonna pay rent because he lived with his mama. He was broke. He didn't want to get out of his mama's house. But that doesn't make him broke, though. But why? But why does he need? Hold on. But why does he need to? Right? Because in other cultures, right, mm -hmm. it's okay. 
until you until you find out what you want to do or when no. you get when you it's get a family. Okay yes. Stay in this space. Yes, yes. And so and some of them and some of them and there's a difference okay. to just what culture, stay in this space. culture? What culture? What culture? West Indian cultures? West okay. Indian cultures? So, they, so no. I'm I'm Cuban. I'm Mexican. Cuban and Polish. And in both cultures, you can stay home. Yeah, yeah. The Hawaiian culture. West the, Indian culture too. The men and the women they stay in the house until they get married. Yeah, because yeah. they broke. Yeah. That that's when we broke. broke. No, 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 you leave. No, when you leave. No, when you leave. When you leave. No, when you leave, you leave, and you have no debt at all, and you have generational wealth. Right now, there's a. Right now, there's a. Um, there's a guy that lives with his mom, and he owns like a bunch of fucking carryouts. Yeah, yeah. I know an Indian guy. Down here. But, they, but he has no, he has no, he has no, he has no what? wife, no kids, no nothing. So why would he need to leave? Right? I mean, and what, what, well, what is it about date you? somebody who's living on their own? I'm a woman who have my own stuff. So if you're dating me and you're not trying to get your own and you don't have goals to get out of that situation, that's a red flag for me. So, no, I'm not saying you can't have a preference. I'm just saying they're not broke just because they're in the house because yeah. there's different. Cultures. No, he was broke when you needed to get loans or ask me for money. Or yeah, mentality. What I wanted to do. Okay. That's broke for me. Uh, okay. Yo, fellas, fellas, the lesson in this is, yo, get you a regular girl, man. Regular women are winning. Um, oh, hard. Real talk. Like, like, a regular I, girl. not LaJoy. First lawyer from down the street. Oh, she, got, she got a million dollar house. And she, do, she do not seem like a pleasant treat person, a uh, pleasant person to be around. I wouldn't want to spend time. I, I see why he didn't move out his mama house for you. <laughs> He's so stupid. I, I wouldn't want to be over there, pillar to pillar with you. That is you know, the reason I, I, why I, women are choosing to be single. No, this is why niggas. This is why niggas letting y'all be single. No, if this you is a, if, no, no, if, no, if you, listen, one thing about it, if you a good girl, you ain't never single. Okay. I, I prefer. I, I would always. Kill, I would buddy. always yeah, recommend. You <laughs> if, if you if you a good girl, no, we gotta do one mic. Single. Y'all, we gotta do one mic. One mic. I would always. I would always recommend that a guy roll out with a chick that he can build with out out the mm -hmm. mud. But once you get to a certain level as a man, there's no point in even entertaining conversations as far as negotiating. You set your standard. If she meets the expectation and she does, if she doesn't, then put her out, bro. But in a general sense, I think that guys need to get with chicks that actually got their best interests at heart. I'm, I, would, I would never recommend a guy to meet a woman's expectations. Fuck her expectations. Fuck her standards. It ain't about her. You gonna win. As a matter of fact, you, you don't even get to the top of your earning potential until your late 50s, early mm -hmm. 60s. You got a hell of a hell of a runway ahead of you. Focus on your greatness. And if she wasn't getting it with you out the mud, then then don't even pay no attention to her. Get you a regular chick that actually can, can understand where you're going, add value into your life. Stop, mm -hmm. stop setting standards based off of what women want. Start focusing on what it is that's best for you. Because the woman that's with you shooting in the gym, she's gonna be the beneficiary of your greatness. You always gonna get money. You always gonna be successful. Mm -hmm. But focus on character and focus on what's best for you. She gonna fall in line and then she gonna benefit as a result of it. Get you a regular fucking chick, bro. Hello. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I, I got I gotta do this though. Anton, I just saw the live yesterday. Well, you snapped on niggas and saying most of you broke niggas stand with your mama. Oh, now what? why? Wait, 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 how did I do? That? That? How did I do that? I didn't yeah, even man, go man, live man, yesterday. Man, wait, 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 I didn't even. Wait, 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 I didn't wait, even wait, go wait, live wait, yesterday. What you talking about? It was yesterday. It was, it was, I think you was talking about trolls. Oh Yo, yeah, because it was trolling, so I was talking shit back oh, to him. Okay, it's cool though. But this is what I'm saying though, right? I'm talking about in real life. I'm not talking I, about I, a troll. I get it though. I, I'm saying, and I know if. Let's keep it a bean. We acting like she got these high standards because I'm not talking about her. Well, uh, well, we we everybody talking about the. She said she don't want a nigga that stay with a house, and then everybody took it to West India and everywhere. When we know <laughs> that's an American mentality. True. Like if you find out, wait, let me just finish. It is. No, I'm he, asking. I said, what's the American mentality? That's an American mentality that if a grown man is staying with his mom. And like I said, I didn't hear we didn't have conversations about this. Mm -hmm. Like you, you'll say this that if they if they stand with their mom, they don't deserve a woman. They're not that's ready. Not what I said. That's not what I said. You know mm -hmm. what that's not what I said. Because as a matter of fact, what I do is 
I tell my story and I say how I had to, how I went broke when I was up and then I had to move back in with my mom. I all literally right. say that all the time. I say, yo, I was up like a motherfucker. I went broke during the 2008 crisis. We had to move back into my mom's basement. My chick was still there with me. And that's, and that's one of the reasons why her feet will never, ever touch the ground because she's always going to be taken care of regardless because she understood the mission. She understood what we was building and she was down for it. And mm -hmm. I said, look, we're going to make adjustments. We're going to adjust our lifestyle and our spending. We're not going to fucking be out here still trying to live, maintain a lifestyle. We're going to stay down for a while. We're going to get this money. We're going to run it the okay. fuck up. And that's exactly what we did. So why would I tell somebody else to do it when it's when my story all the time is that's exactly what I did? Yeah, because see, that's the point. I hear it all the time. I hear it all the time. For and me. I don't even recall it all a lot. Something that they say. The first thing a nigga say. Oh, nigga, you broke God. as fuck. Logic, you say that again. Your mic went out. I said that's something that we say all the time. In Fight Club, we said all the time, a nigga stand with their mama. Nigga, you broke as fuck. Mm -hmm. Now, if she, I'm just saying, and I ain't saving no fuck you chat niggas. Because I'm telling you, if she got a standard, and then we know that standard is real. But I got a question. I, would, I, I wouldn't even something? want, I wouldn't even, look. I tell people I on something? my show every day, and I'm going to come to you, LaJoy. I tell people on my show every day, and this is a fact. I say, yo, lower your fucking standard of living. Stop trying to keep up with the Joneses and impressing all of these other people. If you can, get to a housemate, move in with people, spend more money funding funding the thing that's actually going to pay off in the long run instead of trying to impress people that don't give a fuck about you. I'm cool with people moving back in. I'm I'm cool with group economics. I don't think I think that people are overspending when they don't have to. I think that they buy too much but. house when they don't need it. And so that's my message that I preach to people. Okay. Go ahead, Joy. Okay, but okay, but this is my thing though. When you said you went back and stayed with your mom, right? Was that because you went broke? Yes. <laughs> she got a delay. <laughs> Car got a delay. She got a delay. Oh no, well, no, no. We, we, so what Carter C saying is you went back home because you was then a broke girl. Right <laughs> <laughs> no, she that what she was saying. No, no, she, wait, 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 wait. Do she it, maybe she could leave and come back in so she can no, she, no, she, she, made, she just stopped she making her point. She was Why saying she back home because you was a broke nigga. She made a point. But Anton should broke men. Let's just be honest. I, I agree with logic. You told men, hey, if you're not making the money, you need to chase your purpose. Don't don't go after a woman. So mm -hmm. if that kind of lies with Joy is saying, if you're not making the money. That you need to be but making. I don't think that. I don't think that. I don't think that men should be chasing women anyway. Yeah, true. But if a man, but should a man that's making that's broke be dating? Should he be dating? Oh, you're gonna say you don't believe in dating. Should a um, man that you, you, that, you, that, you know all of that? Let me let me correct me myself. For? Should a man be entertaining a woman if he's broke? Yes. Listen, marriages are specifically made for broke people to 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 get a leg up. Two people can pull ten times their weight if they're on the same page. The problem is that they are not on the same page and most men are trying to entertain and impress women instead of aligning with the women that suppose that, that they that they supposed to build with that's the truth See, marriage can be very beneficial if people are on the same page 100% okay this is why I cheer, this why we with the women who cheer for us during the race and not the women who at the fucking finish line because I, I don't want nobody who feel that entitled to my money yeah that's a quotable cue you I was gonna bring something up in the past, but I was like, you know what? Let now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you about that too, cause you already too. Can you cheat it? Listen, you. <laughs> I'm a new man. When you bring up that I cheated, you convicted me of a crime uh, that I haven't committed. Okay, I'm a new man. Lord. That shit is old. Wait, how old is it? Six months. <laughs> Last year. Last year. Hey, it, it, you know, know, it, every single year they say the virgin three, four months into the year. How old is it? Nigga, I want one foot at a time, nigga. God damn. Oh, nigga, no, you ain't no, because y'all love doing this. Why you bring no, it up? It, it, nigga, it was two hours ago. What the fuck? No, it was a year. Okay. It, in this case, it was a what? A year? You said a year? A year ago. And listen, before but before I slipped up, I was four, four years in a row. Team first team all faithful. 
for four years straight. And, and it ain't like I'm not a desirable you nigga. Want a like, you want a cookie for being faithful? Wait, you hey, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. wait. wait you said, can you know, I say said, something, though? He said four years in a row. He said four yeah. years in a row. Do you know how women be throwing pussy at me, bro? Like, it could, I need a reward for that. And women, if you can just acknowledge that your dude, just, just go tell him thank you for the sacrifices that he thank has made. for being faithful. For yes. 365 days. We, we, we give him a big chunk of life for y'all. Thank you. Just go tell him thank you, bro. Though, oh, Lord. With 2K talking about his cheating and everything, if this was a woman saying the same shit, she be wrong. We're not men aren't the same. We, we, we know this. Exactly. Right? But what I'm saying is, we if it was that. a woman saying the same thing that 2K is saying right now, everybody in the chat oh, back. Can y'all hear me? She's wrong. You she's can't wrong. compare yeah. women to men. You can't do that. You can't. But, y'all, why, why, I'm why, is, why is it not being faithful not a standard? Like, why is it I should be thanking you for you for being women, to your wife? For women to be faithful, the degree of difficulty is like zero. Why? Okay. Like, why do you think so? Because you, you don't think we get you get pussy thrown at you. You don't think we get Charlie thrown at us? That's what I'm saying. Y'all been getting thrown at you your whole life. You should no, be what? In the island, we call penis Charlie. Charlie, Charlie you should sorry. be dick resistant. Okay, from the time you were born, <laughs> niggas have been trying to get you fucking dick. I, I, I just got to a level where I can afford all the pussy now. But two K, you you work from home. So how you work from home? So how is pussy get thrown at you? Can you act like your work from home chest smell better than mine's or something? Through, through, through the screen, <laughs> your temptation is not as big because you work from that little square. Come on, I look good. Hold on, don't get me fucked up. You fucking rude as fuck. You don't look good. I'm saying, don't look good. I'm saying like you making it seem like you work. You going out there? Girls are coming up to you, like pulling on you. No, you work from a screen. Q, if you see my you you see you see my DM. Okay, cool. You see my DMs, and I have no temptation. You've you been having it like that since you was. Thank you, Kyle. So you don't have if you don't have control, just say that. If it's not control. If I can't control myself, that's how you great people. Okay, I have yeah. control. It, it's the opportunities now. Okay, yeah, you can't <laughs> control those little. It was a mistake. It oh, was a mistake that you slipped into. You actually had to leave your house. To yeah. slip into an accident. Hey, bro, it's listen, it's been sometimes women have finagled me into having sex. Okay. Like, okay, you, P. Diddy. You, no, listen, <laughs> but you, you know how women, you, you know how women sometimes they 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 know men have big egos. Mm -hmm. she if you don't want to go through with it, she'll call you gay. Now I can't, and I'm and, and I'm married, so I can't take that type of disrespect. I'm a married man. I got to show her for me and my wife that I'm the nigga around <laughs> here. Like Wait. I said, when we got married, we became one. Wow. So if she playing with me, she playing with my wife. I got to show this hoe. I'm done. Let me read this. <laughs> well, this is what I feel. I feel like men should just date in between their pocket size. Dating your means. Like, why take a woman that wants higher things and try to make them feel bad for it? Like, why take a woman that wear weave and say, I don't want you to wear weave no more because you don't want to pay for that. You met that woman wearing weave and makeup and now you want her to stop. You met this woman that wanted to travel and you want her not to go nowhere. You want this woman to give up what she wants because you can't afford it. That's not okay. But but you, you, you know what? You know what? You know what, Joy? I, I will say I will say I agree with you with that, but the other end is on is on the other side, right? Then it was like I was saying the other day, why have those women in your space? See, Joy, I, I would if, if I was a if I, why go for them if I was a man, I would if I was a man, I and I don't want women with weave, women with this that I just I just would ignore. Joe, we talking I, like that because y'all really not like that. Like right now, no, if I make no. my thumb, hold on, wrong, if, I, okay. if I lick, if I lick my thumb, Joy, I can wipe off your whole eyebrow. Like right now. Okay, I, 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 but I, when I, you I, met me, you no, no, the, but you, you not like that. that eyebrow. So listen, you aren't like that. So that's why so many dudes trying to tell you, hey, you don't have to wear. No, 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 no magic eraser for your, your fucking eyebrow. But 2K, you know that don't make no sense, 2K. This is why I told you on the past. Don't change hoes into a white. Stop, 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 stop. Y'all off. Again, again. Listen, the real ones understand ain't nobody trying to change you. And as a matter of fact, y'all conflating dating with fucking. Just because a dude will fuck you don't necessarily mean that he's trying to pay for you and, 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 and change the game. 
Right. No, that's number one. That's, hold on, hold on. That's dating. number one. This is not that's about number one. one. That's number one. Number two is that you got to be able to separate a simp from a real one, right? Because a real one understand that you not mine is just my turn, right? And so a dude that actually is trying to take you somewhere, we call them tricks. We call them suckers. And it's still tricking if you got it. And so I don't give a fuck if you don't got no money. I don't care if it's a dude that got all the money. If you spending money on a woman trying to take care of her based off of what her request is and her lifestyle is, from where I'm from, you a sucker. You always a sucker. So I agree with her. If you a dude that's trying to change her and trying to get her to move a different way, then, then you shouldn't do that. You need to identify them for what they are, mm -hmm. use them for what you need to use them for, and keep it moving. And so that's what my guys, I don't, I don't, I'm not advising these women to do nothing except for to do what, do what they are. What I am telling the guys is be able to separate the difference between her and her and then move appropriately. Because yeah. it's, it's a certain woman that you marry and then it's a certain woman that you entertain for the moment. And so keep it slotted correctly. But a lot of these men entertain women for the moment while they're married. Yeah, that's true too. Okay, let me get to this let me get to the super text, then we go to the next topic. Damn, why, ho why Ohio catch a straight cue? Damn. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Look, next, time Ohio. Leaving, uh, next time, I'm going to just say Germany. Some city, y'all don't know. My kid's not leaving until they get married. He wait, who, wait, wait, who was that? Cisco? Go back. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead, you get <laughs> He was a teacher, a not a teacher. Uh, father house to husbands. Glad I got an African wife. Hello. Without section eight, most black women should be with mom. No one on panel is average. Million dollar varies location. Shout out to Andre and Andrea Love crossing borders. Black Russian channel redo soon. Appreciate Anton's Allen got Q keep combo on course here in South America. Doctors, engineers, etc. live with their parents and. Excuse me, until marriage, stack their money and pay cash for silver homes. Generational wealth is a must in South America. It's not the norm in the US. Um, mm -hmm. I like the LaJoy versus Anton. Thank you, Cisco. Anton, do not let 2K on that tour. He gonna cheat. But <laughs> y'all is tall, man. <laughs> <laughs> She's judging the the broke teacher, yet let him smash until it was over. It sounds like he won, even if she left. Oh shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. oh shit! Jesus! Thank you, everybody that's right in the did. chat. Make sure you guys hit the like button, okay? To segue to our next topic, why? Hey, tell, hey, tell her get them likes up, Q. It's three hundred. Yeah, hit the likes up. up. Why y'all so cheap? Just y'all broke I'm, people. I'm never, chat, ever, I'm never ever spending money on something that somebody else got for free. You can fucking forget it. Ever. Anton, you're married. A you lot know, of these men, a lot of these, water. you're right, yeah. but a you, lot of these men. Have you men, ever bought a bottle of water, Anton? Hmm? Mm -hmm. Have you ever bought a bottle of water? No, she I got, no, I, no, I got a water sponsorship. But have you ever bought a bottle of water? No, she not, bro. Yeah, I have. Okay, there's a lot of people who get bottles of water for free, but yeah, you pay for it, right? That's not oh, true. she could pay. Oh, no, 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 let's use that example. I'm just that, using that example. No, 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 let, let's use that example. We <laughs> all pay, we all pay for it. Um, it's just that some of us have to spend more than others. That's the difference. So like, for example, I understood that me having a wife, um, it was going to cost me, but, but she definitely add more value into it to make it worth the, worth the, mm -hmm. you know, it is. But then at the same time, when I see this other chick over there, she not really worth it. She ain't got no filtration system. She don't know how to keep her mouth shut. She don't know how to add value. She don't nourish me. You know what I'm saying? All all water ain't mouth good. Mouth you, crazy. Do you, you know the difference between Dizani okay. and, and uh and Fiji? Yeah. Do you know the difference between Dizani and Fiji? Because all water ain't good for you. Both of them are nasty, so what's the point? <laughs> Would you drink cold water? Well, Anton, we can't say that. The, the average the most men are paying some way, somehow. We all pay for it. Yeah, exactly. But yeah. as some of us, some of us get a return on our investment. Others yeah, of us, some. some some of us just trick off, and that's just the end of the conversation. It's not worth what you see. Just because you pay for it, don't mean that you're not supposed to get a, get some value from it. I want value from it. I don't want to just throw money in the air. Okay. Well, let's get into our next segment, you guys. Because this chick right here, oh damn! Then I'm about to did play. we even do the first one? We did. You oh. just forgot. <laughs> we, shit, no, you're right. We didn't even do the first one. Yes, we did. Yeah. 
That's what it is. No, no, we we was we been on this icebreaker. This this you icebreaker. No icebreaker. You was talking you about uh, the old woman. That's no, the old woman. Yeah, that oh, this no, that was the icebreaker. So we go into our first topic, y'all. <laughs> exactly. But this is this is a good little topic. See, women are choosing to be single and dealing with less. Because y'all sat here and gave us so much, so much, on oh, wow, why we should be oh, walking the street, man. Too many emotions, too many emotions. You have to take accountability for the fact that you ain't healed yourself from the fuck your fuck I'm gonna do to you. I hate that. It was a little me. feedback because someone was. Oh, no, I couldn't hear. What did What did you say? What did bullshit. You, say? you ain't hear me. No, 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 don't, don't sleep on my own girl. Yeah, I hate that show. Randy, what did you say? Listen, what Randy can do no wrong in my ass. So. Like, can, we just, can we clear what she said? Because I heard a lot of beer. Yeah, let, let me play it again because. No, 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 no. Just let her let her explain it. She can break it down over there. First of all, why? It's so many things, but okay. What happened in this conversation was I feel like sometimes when I'm on my other show, uh, when we talk about accountability and we talk about, you know, just how to show up in relationships, what it looks like showing up in relationships and things like that. A lot of the times I just feel like we get gaslit. Like I feel like a lot of the times black women get gaslit when it comes to conversations about relationships with black men. And I also feel like a lot of times black men don't necessarily feel safe. And I understand why they don't feel safe because they don't, we don't know a lot of the times how to create that safe space for them or how to navigate that safe space. So those are two different conversations. This conversation right here in particular, I was fed up with hearing people constantly be told that the reason why they can't find successful relationships is because they're choosing the wrong men. They're choosing the wrong men. No, a lot of these niggas is full blown actors out here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you, some of these niggas put on full blown mask and will do mm -hmm. full blown tricks to hide and to play in your face. Now I will say some of us just be accepting and playing with red flags. So as mm -hmm. I was sitting on stage and I was hearing a lot of blaming of other per of the other person, I was just fed up and I said, hey, in real life, what you need to say is you're not healed from the fucked up shit your fucked up ass mama did to you. Now, I could have said that better and nicer and blah, 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 blah. But the truth of the, the, truth of the matter was once them niggas start doing a little bit of digging and particularly Mr. Let Go. Oh, oh God. Shit. You know him. Oh, uh, hell no. About eight. No, I fuck with Let Go. About eight months into after after that clip came out, he starts mm -hmm. talking about how he met his dad for the first time. And his mom had, I think, lied to him about some stuff in regards to his dad and things like that. So back to what I said eight months prior, you ain't healed from that fucked up shit your fucked up ass mama did to you. Mm. And that be the truth. A lot of the times... You can't, you're not gonna, you're not gonna get big on your mama. You're not gonna, you know, put your chest out of your mama. That's your mama. But you will put your chest out of these females out here in these streets. And Somebody got to pay for it, baby. <laughs> Let me tell you, you, well, you, you write about one thing. All right. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm, mo I'm most men first toxic first toxic relationship is they fucking mama. mama. Yeah. And, okay, so let me tell you about my experience with my mama. My mama, my mama <laughs> had me thinking I had to be a gentleman for y'all. Open up doors mm -hmm. and slide up chairs, and that was the first toxic thing she told me. Treat y'all with some fucking respect and dignity. That back oh, wait, wait, two K, two K, you lying? I'm Nigga. not lying. My mama no, told me to treat them right. Okay. Wait, 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 hold on, wait, 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 wait. Two K from Mississippi. They don't yeah. got doors. Nigga, y'all don't have doors. <laughs> oh, no. Nigga, I see half of y'all cars out there, nigga. I ain't never saw a nigga with Mississippi with doors. You like some doogie with a hat on, uh, Logic. You, you, you talk about some doors. <laughs> the nigga, no, I, 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 I don't, I don't want to do it to you, bro. Let's, <laughs> let's have a conversation, bro. But, but here's like, so, so my first toxic relationship is my mama telling me to treat y'all right. Knowing damn well, she like niggas to dog her out too. So, yes, my mama was with a, a thug ass nigga for the majority of her life. And just she like the rest of y'all women. And the man that she would deal with. You say what? 
she wanted you to be a better man than the man that she dealt with. But she knew the man that got hoes was the type of nigga she was with. Or but, she wanted you to be a better man than your daddy. That wasn't I mean, in the future. she really wanted me to be a better man from the one she didn't choose? It was probably an accident. Like choose accident. a better man. Can we respectfully assess whether or not your mother is an average woman or an above average woman? I think my mama pretty average. Like, ain't nothing, I wouldn't say nothing special. Got a big booty. Is that like what? That? That's my mama booty booty. <laughs> I know what mama mama like. Yes. I said about my mama. How much money does she make? How much money does she make? Yeah. See, we struggle. See, it's all. Right. So, so your mother was trying to position yourself, her, position you to, 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 to get dogged out by women. Pause. No, to be a better man than what she would attract and to attract better women than what she was. While she was raising you, and while she's out here walking around on earth, she's like, "No, I get a better bitch than me, son, because you deserve a better bitch than me. You deserve exactly. to get negative. You it, deserve it, it wasn't that my mama. It wasn't that my mama wasn't worth a better man. She chose the street nigga, and then sent me on a path because to get she like to, she was to get dogged out. Okay, because my mama knows you, you get dogged out. You got dogged out by women. Mama, no, my mama, mama no mama, good guy. She wasn't deserving <laughs> of a better man because she was average. Oh, oh. <laughs> you can't take your shots at that man. Yeah, boy. Yeah, it's not point. in for a Hey, come on, we good. Like we good. Hey. Yeah. come on, we got thick skin over here, baby. We born for this. But, but, but what I'm saying is, she wasn't setting me up for for success. She was setting me up to be the man that she probably couldn't obtain herself, or she just didn't like. No, that but, she couldn't obtain based on Anton's logic. She couldn't obtain that type of man. No, 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 no. Yes. See, this is this is where y'all always fly off the rails, and this is how women operate because they're emotional and they don't think logically. No, we talked about what you said. These were your words. I'm, I'm, I'm about to I'm about to talk about what I said. Most of y'all skipped over the man that you should have you were supposed to be with. And so when your value plummeted, and then when y'all decided that y'all wanted to get out of y'all whole phase and do what the fuck y'all wanted to do the whole time. When the dude that was really gonna be best for you and had your best interest at heart was available to you, you want to smile back, and you say you didn't want to fuck with him, and so then you became unworthy of a certain type of dude that actually was supposed to be for you and would have took care of you. But y'all chose that y'all chose to have a hot girl summer. You wanted to do what the fuck you wanted to do, and now you don't qualify. And so everybody qualifies for what they qualify. You can have whatever preferences you want, but how you choose to live your life. It's absolutely what you qualify for. And so you can't sit here and tell me that I'm supposed to advocate for these guys to go out here and be crash fucking dummies when y'all out here doing a, doing every fucking thing that you want to do. And then we supposed to value okay, y'all better than y'all value. No, 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 Hold on. And then we supposed to value you better than you valued yourself. You don't even care about yourself. Listen, most of these guys that's choosing and operating the way 2K is absolutely right. In, in a weird way, he's right. Most of these guys that's out here choosing and advocating and, and doing all of this simping, they was raised by a single mother. They was raised by a mother that was that now had a son husband. And so what she did was she put all of her drama, her trauma on that dude. The way that she hugged, the way that she hugged her son is the way that she really wanted to hug her man. OK. But and so anyone, when you see a dude operating like this and these dudes operating in their femininity, it's okay for y'all to throw shots at him, but really you throwing shots at his mother because his mother is the one that raised him, and she chose the fuck boy to have a, to have a kid with, and then you sitting here and telling me that somebody's mama don't qualify. He said that his mama don't qualify. Yeah, and I'm just Anton, with him. Anton, these men are at an age where they can't be blaming their mama no more. Thank you. They got it. They got it. Thank you. Everybody Thank need you. to be held accountable Thank for. It. Everybody should be held accountable. <laughs> Wait, I tell everybody you. gotta be held accountable. Wait, Wait y'all blame y'all whole. Wait, can I say the same thing for power? women? We we can't keep on blaming. They know everybody that. should be oh. held accountable. You know, blaming somebody? No, 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 no. Oh, blaming no. somebody for your for for who you who you become, and choosing not to change it is different than holding somebody accountable. You still responsible. But how your kids turned out, just because they decide to go down a different path or they want to do the work in order to get better, does not make you less accountable or responsible for the for the monster that you put out. Okay, you're right. Can't, you can't, you can't uh, conflate the two. You're right. But Anton, the, the responsibility now at our big age 
is not 2K Mama, it's him. And he took responsibility. No, 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 I'm talking he, about- No, 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 let's, let's be real. Anybody. Let's not as much as 2K <laughs> joke on here, as much as 2K joke on here, he a father, he married, he don't have no children out of wedlock, he a good dude. So his life is a reflection of doing the work and not blaming his parent, but it doesn't make the parent so any less accountable married, for the shit that they put on their child. Mm. There's a lot of married men that ain't shit. Okay, so let me let, 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 hold on. Wait, let's hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Randy, Randy, you got a ring on are we okay, not watching? Are we not, are, so hold on, 2K. Are we not, Randy, watching the goalposts continuously be moved? No, this goalpost every time, every time we this use an example, I shoot that shit down. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. You 2K's net worth 2K came from the mud or get above average. 2K came from the mud and got that shit out the mud, became successful legally. Even though mm. his mother put him in a difficult situation, he mm. owned that shit, became so, great, so and it don't make dad? his mother where any less accountable for the his shit that she put him in. Put him in a good situation. Where was the dad? Because y'all love to say oh, this. No, dad I do. So, go post. Go so post. No, no, no. It's two conversations happening right now, and I think the the mm. one thing that 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 Anton is saying in, in regards to holding the the prior generation of single mothers accountable for their mm. shortcomings, I think that's a solid ass conversation. I really do. But I think what what you're starting to like incorporate into the conversation, Joy, of you know, well, why were they single parent households? Where they were they weren't single parent households, they were absent father households. I think that's a good conversation as well. But I do think that in order for us to genuinely have this conversation without it being argumentative and back and forth and all that, we genuinely have to have those separately. The first conversation of Anton saying that we need to hold the prior generation of, of single mothers um, accountable for, you know, dropping the ball. I agree. I do agree. I agree with that. I think that we need to hold the prior generation of single mothers. And I think we need to hold the prior generation of married people, too, because let's be clear. A lot of times we talk about these married households and these two parent households. It's some shit that I had to heal from. And I come from a two parent house. A mom and dad have been married and together for 42 years. You feel me? So I think that it's conversations. It's, 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 this is a very layered conversation to have. Yeah. And I think getting back to the point of what I said on stage, mm -hmm. the bitch, your fucked up ass mama did to you. I do think a lot of us had a lot of fucked up moms. I think a lot of us are still fucked up people and a lot of us need to go see the lady. Yeah, the, right, so, so, I, I, got, I got something quick for 2K though. This is real fast. Okay. So you said your mama taught you to open doors. She mm -hmm. taught you to be nice to bitches. All that yep. kind of shit right there, right? Yep. <laughs> All right, which is which is good good life lessons, right? Yeah. You but yourself, well, yeah. through your experience, found out it's certain bitches you do that to and don't do that to, right? Uh, not certain. The majority you can't do that to. I know, but you you figure that out through yourself, right? Actually. So like she gave you tools, right? Yeah, the wrong you took them tools and you saw that some of them didn't fit, so you discarded, right? None of them tools fit. Yeah, uh, but uh, I'm just. Um, apparently you married. Yeah, through trial and motherfucking and tribulation. Through trial and tribulation. Did you never open the door for your wife? What, what, Me, what, yeah. what, I, what, what I'm trying to get to though, right? Look, my mom, my dad taught me certain things, right? I took them things I experimented with life. Some of them didn't work. I had to actually maneuver them. I had to actually go experience. So now I can't say that they didn't teach me right because certain things, because if you look at it, from the point your your parents were raised to now, it's a whole different world out here. Exactly. But what I'm saying is, it's just that I just said that was my first toxic relationship was with my mama because of that reason. Because she told me stuff that sounded good that women like to say, but she know that it wasn't true. She know that women don't go after the good guys. She should have primed me up to be the asshole I was gonna be anyway. I and think you, 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 wait, 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 wait. You saying that your you wait, hold on, hold on. I gotta get this. So you said your mama should have raised you and said, Hey, bitches ain't shit. That yeah, nigga. Oh, oh, shit. Shit. <laughs> oh, you would have saved me some heartbreak and the joy. You get used to this term BPA. I want you to know what that means. That means belt the ass, because I'm for the I'm for the apply it on you now. Cause I, I I did my homework. Okay, that's, I don't I don't think that that's fair. I think that I think preparing your your son to be a gentleman can prepare them for a healthy minded woman. Absolutely it's not. Do you know that the heartache that I felt growing up could have just steered me all the way to Futureville? Like I could have been the future. Now was she? Now were you? Not, 
you saying that she she made you a sense you by telling you that, but but didn't like have? Did you have like a man around to help with certain things too? Yeah, yeah. Not, not, not the, the dude from the neighborhood eventually told me the truth. They 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 they, they steered me on the right road. Now, oh, but had, had I listened to my mama my entire life, I'm fucked up out here. But you didn't. But to speak to speak to two K's point though, right? Your dad, right? If you're a woman, your dad is going to tell you that these dudes ain't shit. My dad straight up told me that. Yeah. And so he told me how to navigate what you actually should be doing, what you should be looking for, what kind of man you should look for. So I wouldn't understand why your mother wouldn't tell you that, right? Now, I, we know the situation he's in, but I'm just saying on average, as a mother, you would want to keep it real with your son, right? Yes, you want him to be a gentleman, but you also want him to know what these women are actually like out here. I think yeah. usually dads do that, though. Dads are the mm -hmm. ones that usually they do, but she no, my, my the more mother kept it real with catering, my loving. That's they what moms are supposed to protect. But yes, but hey, but hey, that's what I was trying to get to when I asked him: Was there any male figures around? Because a lot of the times, those rougher conversations, from my experience, that's mm -hmm. just me. Is is those those conversations was from my dad? My mom yeah. really was out here like. Listen, the conversation. Yeah, but, your mom, but your mom the is still supposed to, your mom is still your nurturer, right? So yeah, your listen. Mom Mom never gave me the, conversation. the conversations don't need to be had if my mama don't tell me the lies to, to run with in the first place. But it's I'm, not, reason, I'm opening up those because my mama taught me that will and it was bullshit. That's fair. I mean, and it's good. And it's, and it's good. It's good to it's good to have that. But your mom should have also told you. How women operate because she's been out there. Thank you. She That's the truth. Out. Your mama probably didn't want to tell you that because she's one of those women. And well, and so, even if know. she is, that's far the more for you to just tell me the truth. You set me up to get dogged out to protect the, the image of women. No, see, I, I think I think so. Back to what I was saying in the beginning, I think that she was just trying to make you a move that fucked exactly. best part of her But how, when she knew her and the rest of her, her surroundings wasn't choosing that, but she's leaving him blind. She's that's leaving him blind. Scary. That's a point. That's a good point because you can't try to give me upper echelon habits and whatnot, and still and not mm -hmm. and not put me in that, in that type of environment or around those type of people. So I definitely agree with you there for sure. One thing about women, y'all being extra positive and optimistic, it's, it's crazy, that. Though that in life don't we all want better for our kids than what we did yeah I mean, I look, look i did bullshit in my life right mm -hmm. i don't want my son to come near the shit i did so i'm teaching him differently right yeah mm -hmm. i mean I, I i don't i don't get the the maybe because i've been in this space too long and then i hear every time i see something fucked up you know what i'm saying i hear these niggas oh she was black oh it had to be a single mama <laughs> I'm, I, that's how we constantly hear mm -hmm. across the board, even though it's valid points to it. But I'm saying, I don't think we come into it, you know what I'm saying, balance. You know what I'm saying? We, for views, you know what I'm saying? Like the beat up on the stripper right now, it gonna get views. You know what I'm saying? And then, I, I don't get it though, but we don't, I don't think we come at none of these conversations balance. You know what I'm so saying? We, we don't, we had these agendas to come at these conversations. And it, it, it for clicks and views, it sounds good to sit here and tell a bitch, hey, look, your mama fucked up, whatever. But I don't I don't see it getting nowhere. But that's because there's no nobody's asking for a solution, right? And then when and then when you have people that come from healthy households and try to interject the solution, you don't want it. Well, that's you want one still, of my you want to you want to act like a bitch. What would be the solution? I think finally like, talking. Can V say something, please? <laughs> <laughs> me first word <laughs> y'all because y'all be talking a storm but what that was one of the questions i had because i agree about accountability and you know okay fine you want to hold the previous generation accountable but to me that means that there's a consequence but what's a consequence for them because it's, apparently it's already fallen on their children, which is you have people like men and women masking their true nature, being like selfish, egotistical, and, like all the, the, the psychotherapeutic words, narcissistic, whatever, whatever, whatever. So, so what use is it to say, let's hold the previous generation accountable? They're about to pass away. They're, they're about to enter the twilight of their years. We yeah. have to, to, to fix ourselves now. We can't say, let's blame, let's blame my mom and dad. She she did her things. To hold somebody accountable is not blaming. That's that's the difference. Okay. No, I'm not saying for blaming because when I hear accountable, I hear there's a consequence issue. Like you are responsible for doing this, and so therefore you must do X, Y, and Z to 
better yourself. But no. your parents had you already in whatever cir circumstances were there. So if, you know, the, your parents chose wrong, she chose the wrong mother, they chose the wrong father, it's already done. You're there on earth. There's no fixing that. Exactly. So like, Nope. So a lot of times what we don't instead of trying to mask them with other blaming and keep on uh, blaming generations. But mm -hmm. Also, it's just about I, I... so what's the solution? That's what I that's what I what, what I happens think that the when one thing that kind of messes everybody up is because everybody always want to blame it on a two parent household. There's a lot of two parent households who people have been raised by both parents and it was fucked up. It's not okay to keep those kids in those situations where the mom and daddy hate each other. Where but on average, it's children. better. Where they fucking but on all the time. Where the daddy not there, but just because his clothes is there, you saying that, his, that you have a two parent household. It's all about just communication and compromise. And a lot of men and women don't want to compromise. It's but not a woman thing it's not a man thing it's also these men who don't want to compromise to know that raising is more than just putting a paycheck in the hand it's more than just money it's about sitting there teaching these people wisdom and values and giving them character because now we're in a generation where people want to exchange character for cash where people feel like just because this man got money they can be mistreated or just because this woman is giving you good pussy you can mistreat her and it's just a cycle of people feeling like that they can just exchange this Hold on, hold on. That's how you live in your life. What? What? Your life is a reflection of the thing that you advocating against. What? Pussy for cash. Okay, listen. No, I don't have sex for cash. Let me just say that. Listen, y'all. I'm not saying that. I'm not. Listen, bro. You in a relationship with a city stud? Okay. You you date women? No. What a what a city stud, baby. Can you you are with a great hell on. You are with a great value. Wait, you are with a great value version of me. You are with a great value version of me. Look at your girl, then look at me. I'm who the fuck she want to be. Okay. No. Yes. BTA. No. 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 She great value as fuck. All right. That that plastic big she put on is an imitation of mine. Them clothes she wear is an imitation of me. And an LED background. What? Well, what? You had a, <laughs> I want to show you the crib. The oh, the crib, nice and soft. What do you got today? I got. Hey, hey, hey! I'm not trying to brag. I'm just talking to the crib. Like last week. Okay. I can show yeah. you. Shut up. 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 Y'all, I had to bring out the little baby kids. I I let, hold on, hold on. I I let let on. Wait, 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 wait. I'm not one of them. Anton, I want to ask you another question. Anton, you were about to talk about solution, right? Hold, holding the, the people accountable in our past. Give me an example of how it would look like of you what holding you 2K Mama accountable. I want to see what it would look like. Well, I'm not going to say 2K Mama because he Okay, you use, use my mama. mama. But Make up no, a scenario. I'm not using your I'm mama either. I'm going to speak in general. Yeah, I'm going to speak in general. I date right? I'm a bisexual. Let me throw that out there. I'm bi. My woman is bisexual. Two bisexual women who love the fuck out of each other. You buy me some, I have sex with you. That's what you is. Bisexual. You a fucking prostitute. The fuck out of here. Big lady. Drop the ass. Now, a whole episode. Okay, hi. BTA. Hey, 2K, how did you know? Huh? How did you know? Because she told me the first time I linked up with her. She oh. <laughs> would have said it, bro. Everything that they got to say this stuff about her, you were an imitation man, baby. Jesus. Why you keep speaking on me and you were a girl who want to be me? Lord have mercy. What the fuck an accountability is that in? That wasn't nice. It's the truth. Uh, okay, you're wilding 2K. This BTA. Is, this, is too much. this is too much. Let's call it what it is. She talked about my mama. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> you <laughs> mama. Uh, well, look, I, I, I was about to ask you how do you hold your mama accountable? Look, but not that's what I wanted to know. I wanted to know how to hold her accountable. My mama held herself accountable. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. You said, well, Randy. Can I let, let him answer? So my, my mama held herself accountable. She came back and rectified a lot of stuff that she did in the past. She told me about the baby mama, daddy, and shit game. She played with my daddy. She told me how the hoes really operate out here. And everything good. Like, that shit, that, me and my mama got the best relationship ever. Well, what age did she, she tell you that? How, she told you how women like her operate. 
No, she, she told, told me how she, women operate. She spoke. No, she, she, she told you how women like her. She told, listen, no, when, no, no, she no, told no. me how women like her operate. How the fuck is it right for the majority of these women out here? Because a lot of bitches are the same. A lot what? of bitches are average. To pull the conversation full circle, it's a lot of average bitches out here. Okay, then. Okay. Well, y'all, it, it, it's not a lot of y'all that's special. Well. Now, don't be talking about the motherfucking you unicorns. I can like show you I can juggle, nigga. I'm special as fuck. <laughs> hey, don't talk about special. I go, this bitch. I'm special. You are just politically incorrect and always no, 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 Of course, I can't be. <laughs> I can't be counsel. You can't counsel me. But no, to, to go back that. to the original point, one of the reasons why you hold somebody accountable, um, especially... A close relationship like a parent is because a lot of times you even harbor um, negative a negative sentiment towards other people or society itself because you haven't even forgiven. You know what I'm saying? It's hard for you to even even come come to a conclusion of who you are or even understand who you are without having that conversation. And a lot of us just give our parents a pass because we just like, well, what the fuck? First of all, a lot of these fucking parents is thirty something and forty. So they still got a lot of life to live. They not out here dying off. They got 20 year olds and they tw and they 40 themselves or they 37 or they 38 themselves. And they got a lot of life to live and they still participate in society and they still mm -hmm. want to be married and they still want this. And they still out here Dre and Michelle in it up fucking marrying a 21 year or getting with a 20 getting pregnant by a 20 something year old man. And so when we say holding people accountable, first of all, they still participate in a society and they still define in the culture because they are part of it. That's number one. Number two, you as a person, a lot of times you don't even have what you need to be whole or be, be full because you still harbor in something within you that's preventing you from being the best version of yourself because you haven't held accountable or you haven't had that uncomfortable conversation, which would lead to account accountability from the parent. And sometimes that needs to be had. So when you talk about solution, you got to talk about it all encompassing. You got to talk about it from a healing perspective. You got to talk about it from what do we want society to look like? We got to talk about it from Who's out here holding the microphones and having a majority of the conversations based off of things that they're not living and based off of a lifestyle that they're not a reflection of? It's all encompassing. So account accountability often at times shapes the culture because the culture is the things that's the most popular that we celebrate the most. It's the, it's the, it's the voices that's resonated, resonating the most in social media. If, if a lot of people is not even a reflection of the life that they live, but they have talking points, you got to call that shit out. You actually, and I'm not talking about an opinion. I'm talking about people giving advice on how other people are supposed to move, but they don't have the results themselves. Mm -hmm. That's important. I think accountability is important across the board. I don't know why we're saying that accountability shouldn't be something that's that 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 we shouldn't highlight. That's an important part of greatness or healing or understanding all across the board. And then we want solutions. You can't even get a solution until you got understanding. I mean, when I was talking, I didn't say, I didn't mean it to where we can't hold our past people accountable. I think at the age that we are, we need to take accountability instead of transferring on to new partners. We need to take, okay, my mom was fucked up. My daddy was fucked up. Okay. What can I do to heal that trauma from the past? Because what's, what's, what's going on right now is not working because a lot of these women are transferring their shit to the next man. Men are transferring their shit to the next woman. It's just a cycle. That's, and that's why the that's why when we talk about the dating pool being pussy, being pissy, it's that's why. Because mm -hmm. so many people are are pissing in the pool. Get out and go do the work. That mm -hmm. might look like having uncomfortable conversations with your mom, your dad, and some of your OGs and some of the older people in your family. That might look like you needing to get a, a therapist that you can talk to for a couple of months. If you guys are in the Detroit area, go to D-Win. They have plenty of free resources for y'all to get free mental health resources look up stuff in y'all areas it's mental health is like literally running rampant the government is funding them they're nothing but programs for shit like that right now so if y'all need to, to figure out how to have those conversations because those be difficult conversations i just had to have a conversation with my mom drop, dropping my kid off over there just now she said that um the way i told her i didn't want to talk about something a couple <clears> of <throat> years ago she didn't like that 
And I said, well, that's my boundary. And I've let you know a few times that I don't want to gossip with you. And she continued to try to push it. And she said, well, I'm your mom. Those boundaries are for everybody else, not me. No, those boundaries are for everybody. And we can break these generational uncomfortable conversations, curses, or whatever else that looks like. A lot of it is just us being scared to have conversations. We can't be scared. to have, They can't whoop your ass no more. And if they do whoop your ass now, now you ain't got to fuck with them no more. Yeah. Sometimes yeah, family got to get I'm going to keep it a bean, though. Watch this. See? I didn't know him been knowing Anton for like what about about two and a half, three years now? Longer than that. Three years. And this is what I say, right? I say I never talk shit about him about one thing and one thing only. Marriage. That marriage shit, right? You got it. I don't go, I ain't gonna say that to him. But see, but when you say hold somebody accountable, and I keep saying what that look like, you can't hold nobody accountable. But what I'm saying is this: you present yourself to be a standard. I am. I, I can respect you for that because you advocate. What you, what you say? I advocate for all that little bullshit. I'm a of the thing that I <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. A reflection of what I advocate for. All right, that shit, right? But this is the problem, which you don't understand. Mm-hmm. Most niggas that do this shit is not like you. Bing. What we about? I stand on my own too. No, no, no. It got a. It got something to do with it. Because that's the whole point. Like these niggas be out here doing that shit, and they talk, they get online, talk, so they holding somebody accountable. And the only way I think you can really hold somebody accountable, two K can hold somebody accountable, is being about his business, living a life that he say we need to live. But now it's a bunch of YouTube niggas saying let's live this type of life that they ain't even living. I but see, we hold them accountable too. It's not just one way. And when but, we talk to guys. We go off on them harder than we go off on the women. Nigga, we hate Derrick Jackson, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> we hate Steve Harvey too. Like all of us, cause we hate them. But we hold we we hold guys, we go off on guys that's not doing what they supposed to do way worse than we go off on the women, and that's a fact. Don't be fact. Because one of them and, and, and we give credit where credit is due. When we see people doing it and they on top of things. And, and and also, let me add this in. This ain't unsolicited advice. When people call in and they call in and they share their fucking stories and they go back and forth and we start picking it apart and we realize, oh, nigga, you know, you a fuck boy. We call it exactly what it is. Facts. We don't we don't give unsolicited advice. They call in and then we hold them accountable. One fuck boy can can undo the, the truths of a thousand real people, a thousand real men. Put it like that. Absolutely. One, and that's why we we hate them. So we y'all think we hard on y'all. You all to see the 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 fuck boy interactions we have. I have shirts right here for sale that says "fuck boys never prosper." That's really dope that you guys are anti fuck boys. Okay, so, send, send me one. And I'll promote it. <laughs> oh, okay. You have so much making up to do, honey. You're not getting a t shirt or Oh nothing. my god. <laughs> we got, we got so many people. You don't know it. You fuck with my guy Rich. Nothing. I had so much to say to that girl, but I can't say it about her because she's not here no Don't more. Strip club. Wait, Wait, for a time, she be there. She left. I want her to be yeah. able to defend herself. It's okay. They probably tune in, but thank you. Let me get to the super chat. Joy, thank you for joining the panel. Uh, let's get to the super chat because I see something for you. Um, she really not coming back? Yes, yeah, not. It's okay. It's not the first. <laughs> well, night, night shield approaching. How the trip? Oh no, let me start from the top. The trip. Um, I was broke when I married my wife. Now we enjoy life, doing amazing charity work for our church, vacationing, building wealth, rebuild family. Some paying top dollar for faucet water. Um, so Randy just said, "Women are the problem." <laughs> Every time I let go speak, I let go of my AirPods. What? <laughs> amazing how women can see red flags with their sixth sense about everything, but you can't see BS from the dude that's sexing you down. No accountability. 2K is right. The simp ninjas have ain't shit. Mamas that didn't tell the truth about women like her. Anton sound damaged. That's her. That's her girlfriend. <laughs> Lord, hey. <laughs> Let me finish the super chat. So wait, 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 wait. Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. Go I already back. undimmed it. I already undimmed it. <laughs> it's, it's, it's coming back up. It's coming. Another yes, one coming up. Wrote more. Let me just get through it, y'all. Let me just, because it's a lot. I just want to see who it is. We going to get, she wrote another one. So a woman's value is dictated by her income. Um, first team all faithful 2k with the four Pete. Let the mother and father accountable. Mm, grow up and stop blaming your mom, 2k. Is that her? No, yeah. yeah. She don't look she don't look butch though. She, she's she don't look butch. She's not butch. Um, that's not her. 
That is she her. Said, it is no, her. Man. She said that it in the chat. She, I don't care what she said. That was she was with a super stud. Okay. That, <laughs> that woman got on girly accessories. You might have seen her with a you might have seen her with a client, nigga. Yeah, she might have been hooping or something, and you caught her in the wrong day. A stripper calling uh, another woman uh, average is wild. Um, two K. I went through the same setup for my mom. She only <laughs> told me half the truth with half a tool. It it took the men in my life to bring balance. Yes. Um, parents that lie to their kids are the problem. You lame two K. I'm her woman, and we good over here. Yeah, <laughs> right, so you better rep your woman, girl. You better rep your woman. <laughs> <laughs> I was seeing all her dick in the chat. Uh-huh. I love that. Ain't ain't gonna hold you. Rage Quinn on the net. Lightweight proves a point. 2K trim the fat and shorty fall off the bone, even if it's silicone. <laughs> most, yeah. most women would sacrifice their son for the sisterhood. Thanks. 2K for president. Remember, women rarely handle direct truth just because they are loud in the crowd. Doesn't make them right. Hold the line, 2K. Gotcha. Don't talk about 2K, mama. <laughs> <laughs> 2K talking about his own mama Rachel, Rachel, who's Rachel? Rachel, y'all not good because you wouldn't be in the chat Trying to prove y'all good Year of 2024 hoes will be exposed Oh, Older the previous is. generation of Connell Prevents the next generation from doing the same things mm. okay. um, 2K, why you running off like that? Shaking my head Shaking my head <laughs> 2K FTW. What does FTW stand for? I don't even know. FTW for the win. Win. huh? For the yes, what? Oh, okay. Um, womp womp. Um, how the strippers say they trade cash for character and don't think it applied to her. Y'all be some <laughs> damn clowns. I I was I was they'll tell faults of past relationships. Women say things like, I was too nice, etc. But if they made no mistakes, how these women healed. Anton, I've noticed when women are on panels with men, they love using the word accountable. But mm. when there's all females, the word accountable is rare. That's true. No, it ain't. When it's all females? <laughs> 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 you want me to tell you why it's not true? Because okay, people love making statements like that that don't actually fucking consume content. Because do you seriously sit around watching content that is all females all the time to actually be able to make a statement that oh girls talk they don't talk about accountability? Yes, the fuck we do. We do all the time. The fucking bitches no, don't Randy. listen. You do. Thank you. You do. No. Yeah. Wait, let me tell. Let me tell you why Randy is wrong, and and this is my homegirl, and I love her to death. That's my love me to life. Friend. Love me to life, nigga. Oh, my bad. I love her to life. <laughs> she said, don't kill me, nigga. <laughs> that's, that's my little sis. But Randy is wrong because that's how Randy operates. But Randy, that's not how it happens. And we have observed these women and these hyenas all together and they cackle. And as a matter of fact, what happens is when they even attempt to hold each other accountable when it's all women in the room. They all gang up on each other. They call one of them a pick me. They call them well, a pick me. I agree there, but they go left all the way from there. Is that a certain particular like kind of people? Because like that don't happen where I where, where we talking about who is that you can use you as an example. We talking yeah, about who is so, the unicorn. Randy, that we were talking about this the other day. Me and, were, me and Q was talking about this the other day on after hours that we What's were after trying hours? to hours. That's one and of my other channels. And on one of ten channels. Okay, where do we watch that at? And on after hours. hours. I don't know how to watch it? Shit, how do I watch it? Oh, no, no, hold on, hold on. Go ahead, Mika. Go ahead, Mika. It's on the after hours channel. But me and Q were talking about that point, and we were talking about how we always get called pick me's or anything when we try to, you know, prevent certain things and say solutions. So mm -hmm. when, a lot of the times, women don't want to hear us. No, women women only want to hear us when we're agreeing with them. Yeah. No, I, I agree with you 2008% on that. I I that but that wasn't the statement that was said that I didn't agree with. Mm -hmm. I do agree with that. I agree with what you said in regards to women don't want to um they don't want to be like the, the vast in fact, okay, here we go. We can say it. The vast majority of women don't want to be held accountable for their actions. I will say that. They don't want to be held accountable. They want somebody that's gonna to to just kind of baby feed them the accountability and what that and you know, just actually but see, but see the problem with Randy is that Randy is objective enough to have a difference of opinion, but then she's open enough to hear what other people gotta say. And then, you know, go from there. So she, you know what I'm saying? She going to stand on what she stand on. 
but she's still oh, over that, that's, that's, that's not that's what most rare. I agree. I, I do think that, but I think that I, I think I'm so removed from a lot of those spaces where the pot, like I do see a lot of the toxic girl podcasts. We talk a lot about the toxic male sphere podcast, but it's a lot of toxic girl podcasts too. That's all about yeah. you know, getting down on niggas. That's all about, you know, just using just, just, just weird shit that we should have outgrown when we was in our fucking twenties and real you, life. You, thing Red, real life. You, you think that bad? You should date one. No. Why would I do that? That's what I'm telling you. We, we be speaking like it ain't like me, Anton, Logic, and Quinn get get together and come up with what we gonna say. All of us, right. had, we got similar experiences because we dated these women. No matter how far y'all uh, y'all think y'all different, we mm -hmm. kind of get some of the same overall woman or like what what the Western society has breeded. Well, so, Logic I and Quinn have in two K, not me. Yeah, I not really, me. I really appreciate that statement. And I want to sit, I want to put a period right there. And I want to continue a cop the statement. And this is this is not to this is genuinely not to try to change it or anything. It's okay. But this, this, this with the same energy of what you said that, where it's like, yo, a lot of y'all talk from these faces of of you know, oh, I'm not like that, or my friends aren't like that, so that don't happen. I want you to apply that same conversation to these niggas. Thanks. I'm with you. We'll talk about how these niggas be fucked up and how these niggas is bad dads and how these niggas be trash ass dating partners and stuff like that. And y'all be like, no, me and my homeboy is amazing. We no, ain't nobody no bad father around here. Well, well, where are that? Well, I guess where are the where are the where they got? They got no friends. No, 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 no. You you absolutely right. Cause I I see my homeboy. I go pick my homeboys up when they get caught cheat. So I'm, I, I I believe you, but that's. <laughs> That's my you friend. Come up and drop them where though. I was at the bitch house, but that's, <laughs> that's my friend. Like that, that ain't got nothing out there. My loyalty is to him. It'd be yeah. like I'd be starting to be okay with you. Don't you ever be okay don't with me. Though. I'm telling you. <laughs> yeah, you'd be like, don't do that shit. Don't do yeah. that. I'm, I'm for my <laughs> niggas. My job as a friend is to make sure my nigga happy. Now, when he is stinching of you, I would treat you accordingly. You put that the much into making sure your girl is happy. Hell yeah, but nope. my home, but time out. I knew my home before I knew my girl, and guess what? You what? Doing anything, you listen, told, you still, guess you what? Still guess before God, you what? stood before God and told he God. Don't believe in God, he don't believe in God. He don't believe in God. Oh, don't start that. Randy, don't don't start that. that. Time out, Randy. Check this out, Randy. Guess who will leave me first? But guess who will leave me first? My my nigga or my girl. Guess which one I'm gonna leave me first? Uh -uh, I'm about to get okay. The thank you. I'm, I'm loyal I'm to my niggas. So, so if the house is burning down and your homie homies in there, your wife, and you gotta mm -hmm. say one person, who I, you say? I'm, I'm definitely getting my my girl out of there, cuz like you, my you, homie, he can do for his time. You lie because you down. Your girl's in the chat. Nah. Hey, I see you, girl. I forgot your name, but you no, I'm it. definitely getting my wife now because I ain't gonna leave the pussy in the house now. Like this is this <laughs> burning down. I'm like, I'm going to get mine, all right? But oh my god, but like I'm with my homeboy, like, regardless. That's just that. Yeah. I'm sorry, cuz just like y'all defend the girl cold, which y'all no, bullshit. I know. I know. No, I hold my friends accountable. That's why when we be talking about women don't hold people yeah. accountable, yeah. And people Trust, don't hey, when I'm dropping my boy out to that home girl house, I'm telling him how fucked up he is. Huh, cuz okay. don't forget this condom now, huh, bro? Mm. I don't care. Like that's my yeah. homie. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, right. We we not gonna we not gonna hold no dude accountable outside of the internet. You know what I'm saying? Just like chicks ain't gonna hold nobody accountable outside. Oh, of yes, I do. oh no, no, we do, we do. We do. Be. And we end up right. the yeah. ones that right. do end up with a very small few selection of women. Cool. I be seeing y'all in them Nissan Ultimates after the club, yeah. dropping your girlfriend <laughs> off at every nigga house <laughs> that they don't supposed to be in. Don't tell me about it. Because we all send door dashes and we all already track each other on Apple Maps and we all are we, we share locations, mm -hmm. so we good. We don't have no, to. No, listen. What I notice about women, don't all mean, your friends don't know the type of hoes y'all be. Y'all only tell it to uh, you. You will tell her about three bodies and tell her about a different three because you. Yeah, don't know. Yeah, yeah, you do. Friends. Yeah, what are we, 22? Huh? What are we, 22? That's what y'all do. You would never tell one girl your oh, whole that's, body count. That's that's shit that I did when I was 21, 22, 23. I'm about to be 35 next month. But you did. It. Some, we, some women don't drop it. They got a hold on. for. And the minute, this is why girls find out. This is why a lot of y'all friendships can't withstand the Vegas trip. Because the minute all of them get together and discuss who you been with, all of them, and then they figure out his nine bodies. Oh, you ready to fall out with them then? 
<laughs> you ready to fall out with them then? That's, That's why y'all cannot withstand a Vegas trip. No, let me tell you why people cannot withstand, a, the friendships cannot withstand a Vegas trip. One person only came with $250. Another person's phone only work on Wi-Fi. Another person only brought two outfits and she want to go shopping every day. We're not doing that. Another person trying to have an itinerary where we got to follow exactly what she wants oh, to so do all day. Another person talking to their nigga all day. And if she don't get to talk to her nigga, her energy is blown. We go to Miami for a couple days and really get to see who bitches really that's are. Like I said, y'all, y'all, because y'all, that's because y'all have been telling lies to each other the whole time. The truth no, come out in Vegas. It. No, the it's truth come out in Vegas, baby. No, all y'all some lies. It's just like it's just like you said. Eventually, like eventually, you get to see the realness in a girl and how a girl who she really is is gonna really show up and shit like that. Or girls are so similar and shit like that. Eventually, the who that bitch really is just shows up and it just. So having to be out of town. Wow, bitch, you're annoying. Wow, bitch, you don't clean up after yourself. Wow, bitch, you're actually... And, and, and when I go pick my homeboy... sometimes solo trips are needed better than girls' trips. And, and when I go I've pick my homeboy, I know this is the... I know he just found never out... never been on really a girl will. trip, and it looks like I won't be anytime soon. I've never Jeez. been on one, and that's... You can't that's travel either. Either. Let's just say that. Me neither. Cuz, don't go to no girl trip. Like, they don't... Don't nobody got money on there, okay? Yeah, no. Nobody. <laughs> No, it sounds like a whole lot of stress for no reason. Let me finish these super chats. Not joy alert to the truth. Thank you, 2K. Get her out of here. F boys always prosper. They just don't understand it. <laughs> Great value. Shaking my head. I thought she was little Wayne. Um, shout out to the panel. You guys are awesome. Your insight is needed. Is Randy Puerto Rican? Oh, whoa, whoa. What's her name? Joe Biden's touch your hands. <laughs> 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 uh, the toxicity is more on the woman's side uh, I'm disappointed in Q and Mika they held fresh accountable but could not see the love for a man like Anton did uh, Mika and Q are being women but at the end of the day I'm starting to believe they both are chameleons well, hold on wait wait wait, wait. Mm. They're, still the daddy. they're still on fresh hold on they're still on fresh and what is he talking about I don't know they're still on that don't God. even care Miss Sanchez person? got something to say about Mika. 2K <laughs> is ruining is ruining Randy's mood. She Look high. at the name. Look at the name. <laughs> Don't run my mood. Beyond sardines. <laughs> Brother joints to smoke before I'm high, buddy. <laughs> no, she, she she making her unhigh. Just subscribe to your channel, Randy. Oh, beautiful. Thanks. Welcome. Shout out to y'all in the chat. Make sure you hit the like button. Why the like so low? Come on, man. Send man, a little that's, like. That's black, normal black people stuff. Yeah, yeah it's funny. free, y'all. Yeah. It's free. That's like, being like whites, cause y'all. I'm not. I'm not. I don't ask too. people for likes no more. Let them do what they do. Come on, man. Put a one in the chat. Put it. Put it. Put your city where you tuning in from, y'all. Woo! Make sure you guys go follow. Don't do that shit, cause she gonna make fun of you. No. More than seventeen hundred people watching this, and that just that just uh, like, yeah, hey, it's sad. Randy, we got we, we got some of the same people. Randy, uh, Rich, that's my boy. Rich, Rich, yeah, that's my guy. That's my yeah. baby. Yeah, yeah. Who else, nigga? You said some of the same people. That's one person. Oh uh, well, goddamn! I don't know your whole crew. I'm pretty sure it's somebody, mm. Anton. So that's two people. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, baby. Uh, we connected. Yeah, funny. Okay, let's get to this. This man, this that girl was still on the panel. How long, how, can I ask how how long y'all be talking and stuff? Oh, you trying to go three hours? Yeah, y'all talking got for a long time. Okay. Ooh, it's marathon, man. Yeah. You gotta, gotta gear up. They, they remember if you leave too. See, <laughs> <laughs> I remember everything. <laughs> All right. Ooh. Ooh, you that, on this is or are, you, are you on them sativas? Oh, oh no, I'm not even high. It's just nigga, it's just 12 15 where I'm at. I'm a mother. I'm a mother. Logic, 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 what time is it over there? Mm, 6 14 a.m. Hey, yo, man, hey, listen. Hey, that nigga's hey, he gotta go to work right after this. Thank you for tuning yeah. in. 
But shout out to y'all that military and all that. Thank you for your services. Let's get to this last topic, y'all. Yeah, I think every girl and every guy needs to go through it. Absolutely. I think it's part of life. Yeah. I don't know why people shame that shit. That's true. And everybody does. Some people just shut the fuck up about it. You know what I'm saying? There's so yeah. many people that act like they're not in that. They never been in that world. And, you know, like I've met so many women that sit there and sugarcoat Stop the bullshit. Like, no, it. it's just I've only been with. Shut the fuck up. You know what I mean? I know that. Oh, what's the name was. You, shut the fuck up. The so problem is. I mean, but a lot, even men, men, men try that bullshit all the time. Problem is, if it's true, if you've never really had a whole phase, it's going to be a time. For yeah, it's, it's, it's going to happen. You're right. going to have somebody slide in the DMs, might make a little more money, or he might look a little better, or he might just be a little more available. Whatever. We're eternal beings. I think when we die in the physical, Ooh. we're still alive in the spiritual. And I, and I always tell people we're here. We're living the human experience. You should not give a fuck about what the next person has going on. And if mm, you do, word. you're not doing enough. That's I just don't think everybody deserve a mic. Like these new podcasters no. that are popping up. Like these. Go ahead. You know, wait, 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 wait. Before y'all did so, you know what's crazy? <laughs> I was in the army with her. <laughs> was you really? Yeah. Uh, no. <laughs> that part of what she got the majority of her body from. I'm no, no, no. Because I know because her name um Fox, right? That's yeah. it. I don't know. Yeah, like I, I know her, know her, know her. It's crazy. That's you know cool. her, know her, know her. Like, yeah, no, no. Like, like y'all fucked her. Yeah, yeah. Because you when you say no, know no, her. No, no. Y'all some police ass niggas. Why would I? If I did, <laughs> why would I say it on the internet? Y'all, why? No, no, so, no. She, she keep it a bean though. So believe it or not, I'm pro ho. I think, <laughs> I think. Listen, cause I think a female should have the exact amount of thirty bodies before she tied up. And let me let me break it down. I got math. I got the whole math. Okay. Most fem I'm being generous when I say this. Most females start fucking at 16. If she get three bodies a year, which they, they be overachieving on that number for 10 <laughs> years, by the time she's 26, she'd have every type of dick, they hear every type of game, they had every type of nigga. And now she is ready to pick and she know the type of nigga that she should be with. I didn't she, like a lot of shit that you said tonight, but motherfucker, that made sense. Well, wait, so she never been in a relationship, so she just fucking. She's yeah. never been in a no, relationship. Listen, hold on, let me no, break that's, down. Just, that's just the that's just the 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 median fuck, fuck wait, so, so let me break it down in depth, okay? Um, she got time. It, it's twelve months in a year, okay? Three bodies a year. She got three right. months. That one quarter. Two quarters, three quarters. So she got three dudes and she got another three months for her pussy to rejuvenate and heal for the next year. That's broken. I broke the math all the way down. It's and 12 see, months in a year, three niggas. And this is why people are hopping from partner to partner because they not healing. They transferring their trauma to the next person because of this type of. You rhetoric. got three months to heal. Three I, months. I, I lied at the time. The time is there. TK just like to. So she never been in a relationship. So nobody's done long term relationships. I'm not talking where y'all just having sex, like years. Like, well, I think, I think that's, I think that can happen for sure. But I think what ultimately what he's saying, because I mean, if, if we, if we start that, is kind of changing the the conversation because it were the 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 purpose of the conversation. Because if we do that, he could start applying. You know, oh well. You know, at some point you might have had sex with more than three people in a year. It might have been seven people in, in 08. It might have been two people in 09 and, and eight people in in 2010 or whatever. So I think that the averaging out the three is just, that's just, just to be fair. But I, I mean, I but why, do, why, why, do we, why do we need a whole face? I, I'm confused with that. Why do we need one? That, that, that was my question. That was my question. Because they, they're making it seem mind. like it's a necessary thing. Like I'm not like, understanding why, that. Why like, do you need one? Like if you do it, oh well. Because okay, cool. curiosity. So why do you need one? Curiosity. Yeah, but like, some people are not curious about that. They're fine that, just that having their like one, one, two, three relationship that last year. I, I like, like, the less one. bodies you have, the less curious you are. No, unless right. right. so right. you need one. Depending on how you take them three bodies in a year, you just might be a hoe. I, I don't want my so again. Why do you need why do you need a whole face? Like I need I somebody that, to know this that is they that I, I just want to know because I, I don't understand why people tell people to do that. I think my idea of what a whole face is is kind of like isn't necessarily the same as everybody else. To me, a whole face is a dating phase. 
uh, most everybody else apply a whole face to being a sex sex phase. But I think for me, like, I think a whole face is just really just you really just kind of looking within, doing your own shit and just dating and getting to know what you like. Because a lot of the is issue when it comes to dating is people just don't know what they like for it. They be like, oh, you cute. Let's let's be together. No, yeah. girl, you need to know what type of person that he is, how he treats his mom. Bitches and that are indiscriminate God. with their vaginas. But... but but the thing is, why do we have to? Why do we have to go on dates to find that, right? Like, why don't why don't people go to areas that or things do things that they like, right? Like, if I like golfing, why don't I meet certain type of people at you know the golf course? Or if I like because doing most this, times, well, specifically with golfing, if unless you are at an event at the clubhouse, you're usually out on the course, and you only are seeing other people that you don't necessarily know in passing, unless you guys end up at the hole at the same time. But most okay. times, people are no getting. Diddy other you're dating mm. i'm just I, saying I, I, if, you're I, I in a, if you're in an environment around people that you want to be around you will naturally meet the type of person you want to be until around. you meet the, another person you want to be i come mm -hmm. from a, a city of good talking niggas bro you gonna you gonna get you gonna get care i promise you i could tell you some shit make the shit slide out right now so when you meet and you around all these type of dudes bro you want your girl to go ahead and be tested like at an early age, bro. Because like, yes, I want my girl to be like, uh, you got to test. But 2K, why? do you know what? there's going to be someone more richer than you, more suave than you, more yeah. better character than you? So why does she need to go through all those bodies to figure out, oh, okay, 2K. That means that, you know, the next nigga that's better than you, he might just be able to take take her from you. Like, I'm you don't saying, no, no, no. Well, listen, by the time she get to me, she tired. Yeah, I mean, they over with. Like she don't. It wasn't them. It was me. <laughs> it, it was me. Like they, they got nothing to do with me. If she it's, not, it's not a guarantee that you're the the penultimate choice. But there it's, could it's only not. be someone that's it, plus it, one. It, it can be. But if she done went through a whole phase, them chances and it's wrong because she knows so. you don't need a whole phase. Like if the person, if if a woman met you and knew from the get go that's who I want, she does not have to go through. Like v, from point A to Z to go back to B. V. Like that makes no sense. Go in the street line. V, you'd have been on this panel 50 times. You should learn by now women don't know what the fuck they want. Yes, they do. Well, like, well, not all, not all, but no, yes, do. yes, some women do. Most women do not know, they know what they want. Okay, they just don't, they just don't hold on. They just don't they just don't follow through and they don't have standards. Listen, that is a difference from not knowing what you want. A female that they quit don't know she with don't don't know she'll want me until I pop up. <laughs> I'm serious. Like she, she, she never thought she wanted a nigga with a beard till I come over and I hit her with some of that. Yeah, nigga, I just got a haircut. Nigga, I got a beard two days ago. You never nigga. had a beard. You never nigga, had a beard. I got a, a chin strap. That little right coochie there. chin strap don't count. But I have a question. <laughs> hey, what's up? What's the okay, whole you know, phase you know, though? That's a, a, sorry. Go, go ahead. ahead. No, no, no. no. It's the whole phase. Head. Just oh, ahead, sorry. <laughs> no. I'm saying it's not the whole phase. Just a conversational piece because. I mean, I don't know. Maybe I was raised in the military. All the bitches I knew had whole faces. I don't know oh, if it's the military, I you get away. I and and, and but even though, know. even though in college, you know what I'm saying, I see bitches out there having whole face. Even though yeah. I can't say it was all of them, but a whole lot of them was fucking. The same thing with the military. I can't say all of them was doing it, but mm -hmm. a majority of them was fucking. It's something that we knew. I mean, so none I of them think was it, in relationships. A lot of them yeah, were in relationships. Yeah, they was in relationship, but you got to think. They'll meet a dude. You know what I'm saying? He'll talk good to her. You know what I'm saying? We'll fuck her. We'll find somebody else and we'll move on. She'll find somebody else and move on. And actually doing that for a long time, eventually they will develop what they really want. They yeah. will develop these red flags and shit like that y'all be talking about. Just like 2K was saying earlier about the shit his mom and didn't tell him, but he learned through experience. This yeah. also it just sounds like a bunch of people that up, it just sounds like a bunch of people that grew up in a Mingle. toxic environment and now they have to go out there and learn for themselves. Some of my niggas, we sit around and trade yeah. women like Pokemon. Yeah, wait, car. can we can we address that real quick? Is it I'm sorry, I don't want to mispronounce your name. It starts with the M. Is it is it Micah? Mika. 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 Mm -hmm. Mika, that's that's a lot of people's story, unfortunately, and that's not necessarily their fault. 
A lot of people grew up in a toxic environment. A lot of people actually had to heal themselves through through living because they didn't know any other way and they didn't have access to therapists and mental health uh, advocacy and things like that. A lot of people had to figure out life by learning and by healing themselves. Niggas is fucking 40 years old and still blaming their mama for shit that they going through right now because they still have not learned how to regulate because they weren't taught how to regulate as a like, child. So fucking so, yeah, it's a beautiful pause. It's beautiful. <laughs> That that's not your story, but that's a lot of people's stories, bro. Fuck, a fuck, lot of fuck. And it's a lot. Hold on, but, but to answer your so to talk back to that point, it's a lot of people's stories that it's not right. So with that being said, it was what I said earlier about being able to provide solutions and being able to hear the other side because all we ever talk about is the the toxicity. Right, hey, hey, that's, and that's the only point. I'm like, that's the only thing that the matters. other, but the other side of the other side mm -hmm. of that isn't saying, oh, it sounds like y'all toxic and y'all. No, I said, it, I said the it other side like, of that is saying, saying it's how like the healing toxic. happens. I'm we already know toxic. But, I'm we know that how is how is how, how do you find you comfort? comfort it's saying something is toxic. If calling us, we were just talking about calling out stuff earlier, right? And taking accountability. Saying something is toxic is not putting the person down. It's saying it's toxic. Mm. That's what I'm saying. That that mm. activity is toxic. Like, why do you need? Why as a woman do you need a whole face? No, 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 no. That's not that's, change. That's, not what, that's not what you said. Pause. Two, two K. One second. What you said was, <laughs> it's not like you all grew up in a toxic environment, and now yes. y'all are being toxic. No, I said that sounds like a lot of people that grew up in a toxic environment. Yeah. That is toxic. right. Right. And when you said that, what were, what were you saying? You weren't saying that. And about this, we fuck the whole face shit. At that point, you were you were judging people off of the environments they grew up in, bro. They can't they can't control that. Yeah, Nico, and, my, and, issue. And, my issue. I don't care about anything else. Hoes yeah. gonna be hoes. Fuck that. Because that's what that was to speak to people from a place of privilege because you did not grow up in a, such a toxic yeah. place. That to me was uh -huh. shitty. And see, that's this is the issue, though. This is the issue. Okay, that's, that wasn't this my is, point, but okay. Well, yeah, this is the issue we had, right? When you had these toxic environment now, now mm -hmm. you got something that's called social media. That's an mm -hmm. extinction of your environment. Mm -hmm. So when you saying, okay, just say this. Just use this. You on IG? Mm -hmm. What's the most popular black platform on IG Shame. that everybody associate with? Shame, Shame right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Would you say that's the most yeah. toxic shit? Yes. Ever, right? Absolutely. And so when you're dealing with it now, and I had this conversation with like um, Q and Anton before, it's like you can have a toxic free environment for your kid, but guess what's going to happen? Your kid got to live life. And then social media is not part of their life. TikTok, all that kind of shit. You can, you can block them from it. You can take it away from it or whatever, but they still got to go into the environments. So now, why I'm saying that is like, what do you believe it or not? Looking at shade room, would you not say that whole phase is a part of women's life today, based on what the shade room show? Nope. Yeah. Oh, that, go oh, okay. just on the board. It's the appearance the of it. When I'm, when it's, I'm, it's the appearance of it, but it doesn't mean that's what everyone is doing. Like, go to just the board. What, but let's just be honest though. The music embraces whole culture. Some of these mm -hmm. men on this on this panel, y'all say that side chicks are needed, Thanks. right? That's whole culture. So you guys want us to hold women accountable, but you guys are embracing this shit. You guys like hose pictures. Mm -hmm. You guys glamp up the, the sexy reds, the Cardi B's. Y'all listen mm -hmm. to the toxic ass music that talk about hoes. Like this is not doing nothing to the culture, and it's gonna make the kids even worse because they're following what's trending, and whole yeah. culture is trending. We and shade room, room and shade room, shade room put all this shit forward. True, so but like, it's not only shade, it's only shade before shade uh, room. What was it? Music, BT, women, men, was prior to shade room. I mean, it, it, like it's a part like Mika. So don't know, don't know woman like say, hey, where's the application for the whole phase? You, you when you in that environment, you 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 in it and you don't even know it. Damn, I done fucked three niggas this year. Mm -hmm. And, and you don't know it. Like, oh, really don't know okay, that. so this, this is my point, right? This is my point. This is my point. I'm just saying we don't need it. If you want to do it or if you grew up mm. however you grew up, that's fine. But it was just like what I said earlier. We 
we have others that we can look at and as soon as they as soon as they put their you know their experience in it's self-righteous it's this it's that this this is another way you can operate why is that a problem with stating it it's another way you can operate it's not, it's, not, problem, it's not a problem with stating that at all and you having your and I wasn't even, and I wasn't even putting anybody down. I'm calling out what your is. intentions weren't to put wasn't to put anybody down, but your 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 words that you use were definitely from a place of privilege. And that was my only point. Like I said, hoes gonna be hoes, so I could care I couldn't care less about that. But what I what I don't think is fair is for us Good people question. that have had a different opportunity to speak from a place of privilege. As it, it's, it's the perfect it's, it's the perfect time okay. because if I'm a person of privilege, if I if somebody is richer than me, I will want to learn from that, right? And so you growing I, so you growing up in a non toxic environment makes it okay to talk to other people as if you're better than them. I wasn't talking from that. I'm talking from that's a exactly point what you just said though, baby. Talking, but I just brought out what I was talking about. You, you, you said called that was it privilege. Time. But you called what it you privilege. Just said. When I'm, I'm using your words. You called it privilege. So I'm saying, okay, if you're saying privilege, I'm going to use that word. What I'm telling you is I grew up differently. And there's nothing wrong with somebody who grew up differently telling you that there's another way. And you know, about say, yeah, that's and that's that's ab you're absolutely right in that statement. What I'm saying is your initial statement was not that, but we can I'm move not, forward. I know I'm better than people. I know for a fact I'm better than people, and I'm gonna call it like it is. Like certain people just can't touch me because I made better decisions than them, and you know I, I know it. And their life is a reflection of it. My life is going to be a different reflection of it. And I think that the results is going to speak to it. And so when I see a hoe, I'm going to call a hoe what it is. And when I see a, a, a real one, I'm going to call a real one what it is. Do I think that people can have redemption and stuff like that? Yep. But see, it, it all it still goes back to the original conversation. If I, if I see a robber, I'm going to call him a robber. If I see a dude that's doing credit card scams, I'm going to call him a credit, a credit card scammer. If I see a hoe, I'm gonna call her a hoe, and and so you know, I label it the same way that society label it, and I just don't dumb it down. The other side of it, though, is that I don't see why we shouldn't say that we better than certain people because there's a hierarchy in everything that we do. Facts. If if I make if if I make better decisions, then I'm better than you. It was not about, listen, I think I think the real conversation, y'all turning this conversation into about being better than hoes. That was not what she said. What she said is, it sounds like a lot of y'all grew up in toxic environments and y'all go out here trying to be toxic, da, 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 da. Cool, that's fine. My next question was, how are we judging somebody off of the environment they did not set that they, were, that they grew up in? That was my only question. I'm not let saying me, I'm not saying I'm not saying that hoes can, can be whatever. I'm not I'm not saying anything beyond that. My question is why are we judging someone off of something they had no control over? <laughs> because they had no that, control over but it, but it comes in. full circle though, right? And that's the whole conversation that we <laughs> was having. With regard to holding the parents accountable. No, that's crappy to me. I know people that grew up in the hood and grew up in with roaches that are good ass people, bro. I'm never that judging. Way. I know people. I know people that grew up in the hood that are millionaires. Hold that's on, not hold the on. Point. But that's here's the point. other side of it, though, and this is why I said we need to hold parents accountable. Because let me let me be honest. I believe that it's a lot of people intentionally having children, knowing that they can't take care of them, but then <laughs> at the same time we give grace to the children. When the children are always supposed to have been held accountable for the sins of their father, for me, that's what the standard is. And so, the problem I think is that we get mad at the person that say that that okay, well, you you know this person is full of shit or they a piece of shit because of the way that they did things or they hold it out or they rob somebody, but then we don't get mad at the parents that created the environment for them. And I, that's the part that I don't understand. I don't understand how. How people will look at me and say, "Oh, you a you? Why can you judge me?" That's exactly what I'm doing. I'm gonna judge you. Society gonna judge you. The environment that you live in is gonna judge you. The judge is gonna judge you when they sentence you to to 30 years for robbing a nigga. The people gonna judge you as far as determining whether or not you're worthy of being a wife or not. 
that's what we do. We judge each other. We judge each other without even knowing each other because that's how that's how we protect ourselves. Mm -hmm. I'm never, I'm never, I'm never sitting around looking at somebody or thinking because oh, I, I, I'm or positioning myself as thinking I'm, I'm better than somebody. I'm, I don't sit around. I do. Okay, okay. Oh, I, I I'm, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not looking at it from that standpoint. I'm looking. At I know it. I'm better than some people. I'm looking I'm, at and I know, and I know that you know that you better than some people too. But I don't. But think, I don't think that the, you don't think that you're not better. Than that, that energy don't lead my life, and I don't move in that energy, and I don't speak from places like that. So that's it. I mean that's fair. I I, 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 listen, I'm a, I'm a, my standpoint isn't that. My standpoint is if we is got that. if we got choices, and like let's I I give you an example, and this is why this is why I think that the that the culture is toxic because one thing that we will do is we'll give grace to people that do fucked up shit, mm -hmm. but then we'll call niggas lames for making better decisions than the people that had the same decisions to make as them. It's two guys. They can come from the same neighborhood. One guy can say, you know what? I don't want to go to the party. I don't want to do this. I'm going to stay home and I'm going to study. I'm going to play video games. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be safe. The other dude will go out there and do some fuck shit. And you know what I'm saying? He gets stripes. He gets stripes for fucking all of the bitches. He gets stripes for doing dirt. He go to jail. They say, free my nigga. They, they celebrate that nigga. And so they judging him in a positive way. What the nerd get is they call that motherfucker a lame. And then what they'll right. also require for him to do is to come back and then marry a woman that got children out of wedlock and say that you're saving for the you saving the community, but we're gonna hold you accountable if you decide that you want to go with the people that rock with you instead of holding it down from the people that didn't give a fuck about you. So we judge either way. And what we then do is we say, Well, you shouldn't judge if you're doing better than each other, but people that's not doing as good as other people judge the people that's at the top and they say, Eat the rich, take from the rich, tax them, take their shit. Why is you doing better than me? No, so what I said is you should judge all do. the way, but just what you can't do is you judge. cannot, you cannot, you cannot, judge. They from judge from people that's good. you mm. cannot, see, you can't do that because that's what I can only that's see. It. Okay, well, I'm saying the table's turn. But Lanny, this is mm -hmm. Randy, this is what I'm saying. I can only speak from my place, right? If I was, if mm -hmm. I was um, if I was poor, right? I can only speak from that, right? right. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this is my reality, right? So right. I'm speaking from my reality. It has nothing to do with mm -hmm. judging or anything. I'm I speaking from my I get what you're saying. And what I'm are. saying is I, if I if I can afford somebody yeah, else not to make a mistake by using my own reality, what is the problem? I get what your intentions are, honey. I literally just let you know what, what it was, how it came across. When you say hey, that hey. environment shit people and shit like that, yeah. it came across as someone that- I'm saying, that I'm saying the environment is toxic. I, I, I grew up in DC. Yeah. DC Congratulations, you, you didn't, you, okay, you weren't birthed to people that were shitty. A lot of people were, sorry. Okay, but listen oh, to what yeah. I'm saying. So when people and then this, we know what's really, weird, what's really weird about the internet. The internet really likes to um, villainize the human feelings and the human experience, right? So they're like, as "Oh, they you're should. triggered. You're they, triggered. You're triggered. Why am they I should. triggered? I'm triggered because in real life." We get on these platforms, it's hundreds of however many people watching right now, and we speak from this place of fucking privilege, forgetting what people go through in real fucking life, bro. Okay, okay, but you, let, me say, let me say, let me say, this real quick, let me say, you hold on, Randy, let me say, Randy, real quick. Oh, you, you thought you grew in a bad situation. Randy, That's Randy, 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 real quick, real quick. That's not horrible. Quick. Okay, Randy, real quick. You say I'm privileged. Okay, cool, fine, I'll take it, right? But my parents' parents, came over here as immigrants and were poor, right? Mine too. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So they did the work and the proper thing so I can be in a place of privilege. What's wrong with that? There's nothing wrong with that. The issue is you turning your nose up at people that don't have I'm that. Not. I'm, I'm not. That I'm falling like down. down. It's not. I'm falling down. Okay, out. even if I am the only one that felt like that, nigga, I felt like that. Your fucking okay. point? Speak up. Okay. But oh, you know, fucking oh, oh, I'm not invited. You're in your not, own oh. fucking show. Speak the fuck up. If you you been been yelling. Yelling. Oh, your ass been yelling. Shit. I'm not invited. I'm not like you no more. And I don't be fucking yelling over people. I got fucking manners. Motherfucker, I got manners. All that motherfucker got no manners. Nigga, loud ass nigga. Can I just make a point? I'm not invalidating how you feel. 
right? I'm not even gonna argue that point because I can tell you. Oh, baby, I don't even care no more. I want to hear what Ari got to say because she ain't talked all night and she she's trying to talk now. Because what I can I'm speak. saying, is, but what I'm saying is that you, that you were incorrect. That you were incorrect. That's what I'm saying. Thank you, Quinn. I mean, I can speak from this perspective because I come from a toxic situation. I come from a toxic environment. I'm married, have my own daughter. I had my first daughter at 23 and I'm with her father still. I don't have to, a whole phase is not needed, but at the same time, I feel like you can't say, toxic environments do play a part into your situations, yes. But at the same time, it's up to you to take the resources that you have, that you have came up across and use those resources to get out of that toxic environment. I upped and moved to Texas in 2021, the day before my mama's birthday, and she was pissed at me. Do I give a fuck? No. Why? Because I made a better life for myself. Do I want to go back? No. Do I ever plan on going back? No. A lot of yeah, times... That's what... You go ahead. No, no, I was going to say that's exactly it. Like, I can understand saying, uh, up to a certain point, saying it's your circumstances, but everybody has their reasoning. Everybody should be able to be... Uh, um, to be of sound mind mind enough to realize, hey, I'm I happen to be dating these guys that happen to have these things in common, and it's not giving me the result that I want. I'm nowhere near happier. I'm nowhere near like more ahead than where I want to be. What is the problem? At, at all, point, we, can't always, we can't always say that it's the toxicity that is around me because these this is a this is a a, a factor that you can control. Whatever is within your grasp and and the environment is within your grasp, you can change, you can manipulate, you can control, you can make it what you want. Especially when ideal. you're at a point where you can reason. That's very ideal to say that you should be in sound mind enough to say, oh, well, this, this, I'm doing the same thing and not getting results. Bro, people stay in the hood in that same cycle for generations. To, for, you to have, but, for you to have but a I'm sure. Mind, but I'm sure they had a well-meaning friend that at one point said, hey, friend, listen, like, I'm going to do this. Come it, with me. Like, I'm sure they had hurt. an occasion to do something. And, and then because hurt. they felt too comfortable or they were afraid or whatever it was that made them stay in their comfortable place. Like, I've been through periods like this where I decided to stay in my comfortable place. Did it work? No. And I learned it and I had to work twice as hard to go where I was supposed to be in the end. So like, and, I'm, and I'm very, and listen, to everybody that has gotten through anything, I am proud of y'all for that. To anybody that has put forth the effort and worked through life, congratulations. My only point is we have to understand for, for, for the 20 of us that made it through and figured it out, it's 2,000 people that have not. It's 2,000 like, people oh. still doing the work. That's all I'm saying. Right. And for, for, for women like us that are on panels that have these platforms, yes, we have to hold people accountable, but we also have to show them the way and give them the way to help show them navigating how to get here. Yeah. A, a lot of y'all. Weren't we saying, uh, weren't we saying that women don't listen? Like, like, like half an hour ago, we were saying that women don't listen when we tell them how to, to be accountable, that we have to like spoon feed them. Like you, baby spoon, yeah. like along the way. Be, I'm telling y'all, yes. grew up, grew up with them same circumstances. Y'all would have got put in the blender too. I'm telling you, y'all would got it. put in the blender. And that's too. it. That's all I'm saying. Y'all, y'all don't come from y'all don't come from the hood. Even people in the in the comments making jokes like, "Oh, I'm triggered because I'm from the hood." I am from the hood. I know for a fact that I'm an anomaly where I'm from. So all I'm saying is it's some people that's where I'm from that don't have the privilege that y'all had. And instead yeah. of me feeling like y'all turning y'all nose up at them, all I'm saying is if, if we got these platforms, we have to use these platforms to teach them on how to bring but them Randy, up. Y'all don't understand, like, when you ain't got Sometimes, money... Okay, let's just put it this way. Anton do it every day. He get on these panels, he tell these people, hey, you need to do this. You gotta do this. They ain't fucking listening. They don't give a fuck. We can't and they say and they, and they say the same thing that he's privileged because it's because they environment like okay so when you hear Anton hear I mean when you hear Aunt Anton say it they hear it but the environment really dictate what the fuck going on nope. exactly. you gotta understand how long wait yeah yeah you can't say nope no nope. yeah. because I know a lot of women from the area was fucking because it was nothing else to do. Nope. Wait, wait. Aren't, okay, Anton's from uh, Detroit. Isn't um, the the gentleman who ran for president from Detroit the first um, surgeon? I forget his name. 
You um, talking about your ear, yeah, Ben, 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 ben uh, Carson. Uh, right. Yeah. So he talked about his environment growing up, single mother, all of that. And he mm -hmm. became this world. When, like, it can, like, Girl, did you, I, you, I, see, I that, did you see his documentary? He used to beat his mama ass too. That's a bad example. Give us okay. somebody else. I'm, but I'm, I'm, okay. I didn't watch the documentary. I'm talking about that. I'm talking about that. People get done. People get done what they want to get done. If they really want to go out there, look, niggas that sell dope, they some of the greatest mathematicians that I've ever seen in my entire life. These niggas apply it according to how they want to see it. Now, if I say, hey, fam, let me show you the way and let me do this. They be like, fuck you. Straight up. They say, fuck you. And you a lame. Mm. Real talk. Because and you stay with your mama. And you stay with your mama. Yeah, they, they say all kind of shit. <laughs> and and here's, here's the worst part about it. I can show the receipts. I, could, I can give them the blueprint. They don't give a fuck. People do what they want to do when it's suitable for them. That's what I find. What they do with pe people's people minds do, are like them, and if they don't, if they don't see the the bigger picture, I, I think I just think it's unfair that never yeah, a, a lot of folks don't look like you don't look like the folks that goddamn me that what, what they look like. So you would be looked at or considered lame. Like if I came to Detroit, I don't wear them the, the, them glasses y'all be wearing, so they'll call me lame. But mm. that's because that's the environment. So you nope. got. Yes. No. Nope. You talking about the boss? There's plenty of people from the no. hood that are are prosperous. So I, that's why I don't. Even it, it is plenty of people. It, but it's, 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 your, it's your own mindset. It's, it's your own mindset. It's, it's plenty, plenty of people. people that don't prosper. I think mm -hmm. I think the disconnect what we're saying is. It's definitely plenty of people from the hood that that has made it and have broken oh, out of, out of out of that cage. Yes, yeah. But the hood is the hood for a reason. What we have to stop. What we can't gloss over is the fact that ghettos were created for a reason, and many families haven't figured out how to paint a picture to get themselves out of there. Like a lot of like Anton's talking about people seeing the bigger picture and, and whatnot. You you need you have to. How can you see the bigger picture when you don't you don't know that you don't know what? Right, but Randy, but Randy, Randy. We're talking about, so from what I can see in America, okay, I just told you my family is Polish and Cuban. You got people literally running from wars, running from actual poverty, yeah. right? Why, running from being killed. We can't compare and struggle. And what I'm saying is if they can make it through that, you can make it through the, the, the little bit of stuff that goes yeah, on in the hood. Think, like, it's all your mindset. It's all I your think, mindset. I think, I think our experiences make us live in two different mm -hmm. places, and that's absolutely okay. But I think it's absolutely, you can't, was your, when you're, was either your parents shot nine times in front of you? Nah. So you, was, you I, was no, but it's what I said earlier. My, no, 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 my, no, 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 no. Answer my question. Was either your parents shot nine times in front of you and had to sit down mm -hmm. for a year and a half because they had to reorganize their organs and all that shit? No. no, so but you ran from war and y'all had to get through that. I had to get through war in the hood. Do you know studies show no, that I, did, I didn't? I oh, said my pause. Okay, your parents did. Do you know studies show that people that are living through the hood are actually living with trauma from third world countries as well? Do you know that? Okay. I grew up with I grew up with people that did trauma. That's what I'm trying to say. It doesn't. It your mindset is what it is. Okay, so yeah, you can have sure. trauma. There's all types of people that have trauma. It's okay. your mindset. As, if you want to get out of the situation, you can get out your situation. Mika, yeah, yeah, wait, wait, right, wait, wait, let me say this one thing though. Is she had Polish? Poland yes. is a fucking ghetto. <laughs> that's what I just said. But that's the whole what I said. Country is a fucking ghetto. <laughs> but that's yeah. what I just said. But Mika, so what I gotta tell you about that, like, as a, as a as a real as a real nigga like who comes from some bullshit, I couldn't change my view until I, I changed that. my view. Huh. I, I couldn't change my view. It's, it's I didn't. I didn't right know there. better until I was able to see better. Uh, hey, two K, two K. Did up, you know? Uh, you know, Tupac shot that vi the music video. Um, I wonder if Heaven got a ghetto. He shot yeah. that shit in Poland. He shot it in Poland. <laughs> 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 a lot of these places be fucked up. Like, yeah. No, but that's but that's what I'm saying. I'm saying that that my great grandparents literally came over here from that nonsense. But listen, nonsense. Listen, your folks came over here. If you stayed in the hood, that still was nowhere you can go. If you if you ain't got the means, cause like it just took me, it just took somebody to pull me out that situation for so them to know they, that they, they didn't have the out. means either. They, they decided. They decided to go ahead. Uh, let me just say something. I, I'm privileged. 
but I've mm-hmm. dealt with other people, kids and stuff that weren't privileged. So in 2024, I just think that there's no excuse for not bettering your life with all mm-hmm. the opportunities that's out there, right? Listen, Let's just say? be honest. Chew. We are lazy. We are lazy as fuck. If you go to these third world countries, maybe because I travel, they hustle. Hustle Chew. for pennies. You I agree wholeheartedly. Like, we are lazy as a culture. Let's just be honest. Q, I agree wholeheartedly. But yes. if you don't, you can't change your view unless you can change your view. You True. can tell me about how I'm supposed to be doing better. Woo, 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 woo. But if all I see is smoking prostitutes and gangsters, and so that's the thing that I see every day, that's what I'm going to nine times out of ten do. You saying changing me because like I can go another street over. Okay, and okay. So, so like that. that's, but that's what I was saying. That's what I was saying. We They literally would hop on boats hide all that good stuff to get to America. Like there's there's tons of dangerous stuff that my grandparents and other people like them did just to get over here. Yeah, so if you want to change your view, you will find a way to do it. When you want to do something enough, you will find a way to do it. You, listen, it's a little different when you're coming from out the country. I think that's where the disconnect. When you're coming from out the country and you see on TV, mm-hmm. America's this, America's that. That's what we saw before moving here. Oh, America's great. You got New York, you got Cali. You come over here. It's and, a war over here still. And, 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 and it's still made over here yeah. still. You, right. yeah, you, but, hey, but, you but they to, still you made it Detroit. regardless. Yeah, you go to Detroit and then you want to go back to Poland. I did my last shit. Did this my last shit to say, Mika? I didn't. Yeah, I, didn't I didn't know how fucked up I was until I was able until somebody took me out of it. I'm thinking sleeping on air mattress, eating bologna sandwich. I, I'm thinking that shit normal. It's your conditioning. Your conditioning. So, so what you saying? You saying if you want to do better, you you make a way. I'm. I don't think that I'm doing bad. I I didn't know I was doing bad until I was able to somebody say. Hey, well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. That, it, to that it, point, two K. I was like that until I traveled, and that was when I turned eighteen. When I really started traveling, yeah. People used to have all the jokes about Detroit and Detroit being bad, Detroit being ghetto, and I was like, Detroit not that bad. Like we good until you, you travel. Like, we good. Like we good. I got but, to Atlanta and was like. Oh, Atlanta, hell no. Yeah, I, can I can understand that oh, point. It's that bad. But so to, to, to your point of, of, you know, if you want to get through it, you can. I definitely think that. But I think that mm-hmm. so many people don't, don't even know where to start. They don't know better. You know? Like for my, my mom, my mom, my mom grew up in the projects. My dad didn't. They didn't. My, my parents started their family very young, very hood, mm-hmm. very hood, you know, very, very just out the mud. You feel me? Both didn't come from them. My daddy was selling drugs. My mama was a medical mm-hmm. assistant. They figured putting me in Catholic school was going to be the end all be all. That was just, nope, that's going to change everything. Everything's going to be great. They didn't really know anything else beyond that because of what they came mm-hmm. from. Mm-hmm. But so they tried to his, to his point, a lot of people don't know what those next steps are or even how to get out that box because they don't even realize they ain't a fucking box. Yeah. Well, people don't know. They don't know. If you're conditioned a certain way, you're going to think that is the right way. Right. That's like when you we're conditioned yeah. at a young age, three to four. If we don't know that my daddy's supposed to respect my mom, my mom's supposed to cater, nurture, cook. That's my environment. But then when I come on YouTube, that's not y'all's environment. Y'all grew up in some crazy households. The stories I'd be saying, I'm like, damn, y'all were brought up in different environments, different conditioning. But some of y'all don't. My dad listened to this. My dad was like, damn, these people got crazy stories. And I'm like, yeah, dad. I was like, yeah. are, aren't you so, grateful? I'm like, dad, I'm so yeah. grateful for what I got because they don't know. But I know that this is an example. When my brother's friends used to come hang out with my family, my parents, they were like, damn, your mom is this. Your dad is this. They're so loving. And we're like, really? Like, that's me. This, this is normal. But they don't have that. So I'm confused. So is we saying being privileged is a bad thing? No, no, we're no. not saying it's, it's a bad thing. Oh, okay. it's, it, what we're saying is that we have to be able to acknowledge you. That's it. But, that, but, but that's, that, why, that's, that's what I said. Case. That's why I said, yeah. I, I said, okay, I'm privileged. That's fine. Yeah, and that's beautiful. But then Anton took us to a space of, oh, we should be able to say we're better than this and that. And I just, that's not the conversation I'm trying to have. We can have a conversation on another day, whatever. My point was similar to what Q just said is that when she got to see things from, a you know you know from other people point of view on 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 social media from their experience growing up in america and whatnot and how you said you know your your grandparents had to come from a different country you know uh fleeing war and whatnot 
just like I would never understand that because it's not ingrained in me. You were raised, you were raised hearing those stories and hearing those experiences. You're not necessarily going to understand my experience growing up in the hood here, or you won't necessarily be able to completely just grasp it just because it's not your experience. So I can, I can say like, okay, cool. I get, I get that, you know, your privilege is, is something that you deserve. You know, your, your ancestors went through certain shit or your, your, you know, people went through certain shit. So you will be good. That's not, it's not a bad thing. There's nothing wrong with having privilege. There's nothing wrong with being in a good space of winning. The issue that comes to the hand is when I, for me at least, is when you feel like you're better than someone for that. That's it. My, my last point to that is if you're buying a house, and you have it, you can buy it in one neighborhood and then you buy it and you can buy it in another neighborhood. You would feel like one neighborhood is better than the other, right? Some areas are better than other areas. Absolutely. Okay. There's, it's, it's nothing wrong with saying something is better than something. There, it's not, it's not from a, a, a place of saying, I, I don't like this person because of this. It's, some things are better than other things and it's okay. But what I was getting at is that if we're going to have platforms, then there needs to be people that are like me. No, absolutely. Or, or better. Or better. Absolutely. And I don't I don't disagree with you on that. My my where I disagree with you on is when I felt like what you were saying was almost like judgy toward the people that had no no control over that initial environment. But we it's, 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 it's a judgment. That but it's a judgment. Your- Randy, it's a judgment, but it's not malice. That's th- that's the difference. I'm, okay. I'm judging. I'm judging the environment because the environment is bad. Like if I see a bad environment, I don't want to go there. But I understand that there are human beings there, so I'm telling you what you can do better. And that's not from a place of malice. That's the place from helping you. But if it's a past environment and they can't change that, and that never mind, baby. Okay. Anybody mm. else? Before we let y'all go, Anton, I just let me say one thing. Like, <laughs> maybe <laughs> just wait about Anton months ago. But I think that it comes. I like so- the discourse. You said what? You want to hear like, what? I like the conversation of opinions, and I like when people have mm-hmm. different perspectives. Mm-hmm. I like, okay. I like it all. Like, this shit is great content for me. But go ahead. Usually, when I see two curly the head, light skinned women, they be airhead. Mm-hmm. So the the point, the fact that y'all can have like an intellectual conversation. I'm judging. Okay. No, <laughs> I'm just no I, I promise you, like, it, it's dope. I, like I'm marveling at this, like this exchange because oh, usually cute. when 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 women pretty, they don't have the wittiness. The fuck? No, seriously. That's why I told my <laughs> wife because she pretty. And she pretty. So, c- congrats to y'all. Z. What was you about to say, Scott? Q before I go. When it comes to these panels and podcasts, like we do have to be understanding of people's upbringing, their cultures, their environment, their conditioning. But it comes to time where I, I'm not about to make excuses for these old people that have opportunities that's just handed to them, right? Yeah, I grew up a good life, but 2K or who, let me not use 2K. Bob, are you gonna keep using an excuse that your mama or daddy wasn't shit? Um, Lucy, are you going to keep blaming your daddy for your failed relationships? No. Like, mm-hmm. I think that in, in today's society, we have so many excuses and there's so much ample opportunity to grow, but we either selfish, we lazy, or we just, we just don't care to grow. And that's just, a, I'm just going to say a black culture as a whole. We just trying to make all these podcasts. Everybody not trying to come up with solutions and shit. They just want to talk and feed the narrative and, and become popular. So I just I do like this discourse that, though. That's that's what I was saying. It's mm-hmm. like coming from people being comfortable, even though they're gonna complain about oh, you know, I'm I'm missing this, I want more money, I want more of that. But then if they could have an opportunity that seems really small, but it's something, and they're like, Oh, I don't want that because XYZ and they just stay there mm-hmm. like that. So it, it's I, I I agree with that. And even and that's why I say I don't understand why we need a whole phase. Like, no, live like yeah, you, you don't, don't need to be. Like that, that's ridiculous. What was you about to say, Randy? I think that conversations like this need to be had on, on, on these podcasts. And I think that the reason why we, I hate that it happened at the end of the conversation. I would have loved that this would have happened towards the beginning because 
a lot of people don't know how to navigate these waters. A lot of people don't know how to, like when we had the conversations about creating safe spaces for men, right? Um, we'll say, okay, that looks like a woman kind of being quiet for a man and him like kind of dumping his energy on and things like that. But what else? What comes afterwards? So I think when we have these conversations that's actually deep conversations and not just clickbait shit, yelling at strippers and shit like that, I think that, yeah, it, it ends up being a longer conversation, more in-depth conversation, but I think it's a good conversation. That's uh, that's on um, 2K, by the way. And I just, I just want to tell y'all, like, just because... I really can't nigga... believe you talked to that girl like that. That was so oh, mean. Randy, tune into his Facebook group. It, it gets... I don't know how his channel is up on Facebook. The rest, of it. Yeah, if you watch some of his uh, of his lives, it's ridiculous. I'm offended. Stop, stop treating right. niggas like right. terrors. Uh, stop treating your nigga like a terrorist because he cheated on you. And listen, but, one thing y'all can never do is pit me against another black woman. I don't necessarily agree with what she said, but in me correcting her, I don't know how to, I don't know her personally. So y'all can never make me not, I don't know her to dislike her. So baby, you're beautiful. And wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me just say this. Oh, I'm fine. Thank the reasons, you. One of the reasons why, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I'm cool with even Randy being here because I'm protective over my friends in real life. It's because yeah. I'm worried about her and she got thick skin and she don't take shit personally anyway. So <laughs> her is just conversation. So we ain't, I ain't worried about you, girl. Hey, I had to slide for my Oh, mom. no, I'm talking about these crazy people in these comments. Like, I like uh, I'm going to have to versus me in two weeks. They live in their mama's basement. They live in their mama's basement. They were good people, though, and it depends on the culture. Randy, I, I ain't gonna lie. I hate your clips because like every time my wife see y'all shit, she get to looking at me crazy. And y'all really <laughs> be fucking up all my, my hard work. Can I say this? Somebody just said I'm a feminist. I am not a feminist. I am a fucking obedient, submissive ass <laughs> wife in real life, y'all. Please do not take me speaking aggressive because I'm from the hood. Please don't take that in real life. I've been married for five years and my husband, and trying to even tell y'all how I am with my husband and with my man. I am yes, okay. like social media, Randy. So if you marry, hold your rings up. I'm in the room, but yeah. We're not, we're not worried about that. But 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 here's the thing. Um I don't I don't ever want to exist in an echo chamber where everybody mm -hmm. just default anyway. Mm -hmm. So I like having these conversations and I like for it to go left. Um I know who 2K is, so I know he's gonna upset the strippers, and that's just the way <laughs> it is. So. That was more than upset. She just she left. I yeah, want to leave. Left. Make sure she okay. Yeah, I, I, I message her. She 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 good. I, I'll go throw some money on her this weekend, man. It's all yeah, right. Under cash <laughs> You know what? The first person that's uh, duped out. We've had some guys um left. I ran my gay friend away. That oh yeah, that's <laughs> <I do. laughs> Anton has ran a couple people away, so I'm glad it wasn't Anton tonight. It I'll be like, chilling. I'll be so emotional. You chill. Even... You chill tonight. But I have I'm manners. Sure. Yeah, you're too too. Away. <laughs> I be chilling all the time. You know, the thing about it is that I don't know why Quentin and 2K thought that she was going to get a plane ticket. What is y'all thinking? <laughs> oh, oh, shit, nigga. She definitely was working on a ticket, nigga. I fucked it up for you. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. As soon as she said she was a stripper. Because for, for, for nearly every woman that comes on this panel, either at the beginning or the Please. end, it will be, where are you living? Uh, when are you I'm free? On the black Let couch. Me... Exactly. I'm it's the only one that managed to save it. myself out of there, and that's because no, I don't no, have a night. That's the only question. reason why. Okay, y'all. It's stop, one o'clock in the morning. Stop, I gotta go. I gotta All right, go. Randy. Thank you for coming. Wait, wait, wait. They should follow you at Randy. Go ahead. Oh, you guys follow me at Randy Rosario. I yell at people all day, so y'all come get yelled at. I'm just kidding. Hey, Rand, I followed you on IG, love. I'm really just follow back. If y'all on the DM, if y'all if y'all on the panel right now, please DM me so I can follow y'all back, all of y'all, even if I argue with y'all. Except no, you good. <laughs> to, no, I was talking about I was talking about actually cute Quentin on that because I call him pretty cute in the heat in the moment. You did? <laughs> did y'all catch that? Pretty cute. Oh, I really actually I don't apologize for that because that was funny as fuck. It was funny, but I gotta go. Uh, I appreciate y'all, and I hope to come back because this is fun. Bye. Definitely. Thank good you. Good night. See you, baby. Mm -hmm. um, I'm get off here. Oh, here. Oh, I got you. I'm removing. <laughs> but here, here's the thing. Like, I, for some reason, y'all just think that every chick get a trip. That's not true. <laughs> how many? Think about it. How many? How many of them actually ended up on in the studio? 
That wasn't a topic. No, no. Yeah, that's not the question. Are. The question is how many invites did you issue? I, I can say I did. I'm, I'm the only one. Oh, no, no, I'm the no, only no. one that has not gotten an invite, and that's okay. No, but the rest trigger. of them, you got the your rest of them. But I okay, fine. Trigger yet. two, two. two. Mm. That's two. Two. You need to make a collage of him inviting hoes on the show. I'm not about to go back to that. Hey, but I know somebody got the time in the chat. If you got the time in the chat, fellas, I will pay you money to go find those mm -hmm. times time and make a collage of it. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. First of all, first of all, those be jokes. That's number one. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, listen. Let's be, clear. Let's, be clear. Let's be clear. Those are jokes because very, very few people actually make it to the studio. That's a fact. Yeah, that's number that's one. So so does does that mean that yeah, let me fly you to Detroit? Two. Is that is that the 2024 version of she's super duper dope? No, number two, <laughs> number two, number two. Um, they do still reach out and be like, When am I coming? And I don't pay them no fucking attention. That's oh my god, you one of them niggas. <laughs> you one of the niggas that be uh like I got a homeboy, he lied to bitches everywhere we go. Like, <laughs> Last time I went to the script club, I overhear him saying, Yeah, we're gonna be uh jet skiing in the morning. I look over this nigga like we is. <laughs> he just lied, he lied to women everywhere we go, bro. Like, I don't know why. No, you know what it is? It's just like I know that I know that women gonna disappoint me. I just wait for it to happen. Yeah. So for example, for example, y'all listen, for example, y'all looked at the, that little chick. And y'all like, oh no, I ain't trying to send her an invite. Man, all you gotta do is let her talk for 10 minutes and hey. you're gonna realize that the chick is not worthy of getting anything from me. Nah, <laughs> if she would have showed some promise, you definitely would have sent the invite. But if see, they wouldn't have said nothing, I think you would have. But I, 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 can tell, mm -hmm. I, I can tell that you mean it though, because you can look at Q and then you can look at Mika. So you could tell like how they prosper from actually knowing knowing you and being around you. So you 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 don't be bullshitting with the opportunity. You really just let the woman. You know what? Listen, listen. Like I said, very few people actually make it to the. Very 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 few people actually make it here. That's a fact. That's cool, but it's the offering. You would have offered her. Well, because I'll be talking she, shit. Like no, no, no. But she honestly. No, no. The, the minute that I found out that she was a stripper, that was it. What you mean? You've never had strippers yeah. on your panel. I've never had a stripper on my couch. No. Oh, okay. I know. I was curious. I don't I've know. never had a stripper on my couch. But you had. Never. You had. You had Brittany Renner. She's you not had, a stripper. She's not a stripper. <laughs> she's a hoe. She's not a stripper. <laughs> What's mm -hmm. worse, Renner or a stripper? I just. Well, no. First of all, she has. She has a huge following. True. It was. A, it was a great business opportunity. We made okay. a lot of money. Mm -hmm. And so that's a that's a completely different conversation. You're not about to get me to send no rando, no fucking plane ticket. That's just a stripper. No, I mean, but we, she, we you know, her own, own. she would be huh? good for a cool couple content. You know, she's we, pretty. We, we used to do it all the time on Clubhouse, and she had, and she said she had multiple properties. So yeah, you yeah. know what the fuck is going on? Me, you know, plenty of women that got flew out on Clubhouse. Wait, 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 wait. Oh. what does that have to do with me? A lot. Yeah. Uh, Okay, listen. You, you listen. created you created the fly out culture, man. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, someone said something in the chat. Hold on. It's not your first time you've interviewed a stripper now. You've interviewed a stripper. Well, that's true. <laughs> that's <laughs> well. <laughs> you know what? I'm, hey. I'm motherfucking petty. Six to oh, Wait, wait, wait. Listen. I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know about the past. You didn't before. know she was a stripper? I did not know that. Oh, you didn't know she was shipping to Florida and then moved to Atlanta, change her identity. I ain't know shit. That's oh, number one. Oh, number one, I didn't know nothing. Put number money two, on it. Number two, no, we're not gonna do that. We're not gonna do that. We're not gonna do that. I number, did. Two, number two, we made a lot of money. I got a lot of money. You out. did. Yeah. You can make a lot of money with another stripper. Not, listen, not, well, listen. she was interested. Yeah, she was. No, she no, held listen, her bro, for a while. Listen, listen, bro. I I my piece. I know I talk a lot of shit, but again, like I said, very few people could you ever say they ever made it to my studio. That's number one. Number two, most people that I rock with, I do business with long term. You know what I'm saying? So, so that's number two. And, and, and then number three, 
my like I said, my peace is more important to me. So if you're not a, a person that I feel like I could actually vibe with or have a great conversation with or do business long term with, man, I'm not about to be fucking around and, and dealing with you on that type of level. So, you know, I say a lot of shit and then they DM me and they be like, hey, where where am I coming? And I don't even respond. I just act like I don't see that shit. No, I get it. No, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's cool. I, I'm not saying I can't guy. hold water. The fuck? Everybody knew she Nah, was. hell no. Nah. You tell Q anything is coming it's back on rap, nigga. Excuse me, excuse me, sirs and gentlemen, shim him, them. Y'all said it on a platform, <laughs> on a public platform. Okay, but so it's not like y'all said it on a platform. Y'all said it on a platform. So guess what? I just re-said what you said on a platform. If you don't want something said, don't say it on a public platform. And and you just don't remember that shit and use it. Hold on, wait. Let now. me say one yes, more thing. Yes, she will. Yes, she I got, will. I got a good memory. That's why. Let I mean. me say one thing. All y'all do is memory. help me. Like when y'all warn a chick and say oh, you don't get an offer, <laughs> all you're doing is 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 setting yep. is getting her interest around for me. Mm hmm. You're yeah. not hurting. You helping. She would have done it though. Yeah, with her alleged multi-million dollars, right? No, nah, our house do look dope. I've seen it on the other channel. I stay in that. What, you, what you need? Listen, this is my point. If you talking big shit, then what you need? A, what you need a train ticket for me for? No, she would. She didn't even know. She, I don't think we got into deep conversation about you flying her out. I don't think she even said yes or no. But, I, I don't know. think the question was even issued yet. Yeah, it was well, about to come out. It was about to come out. It was about to come out. And then 2K cock block, not cock block. It's yeah, cock. that was Anton. Me, that was Quinn. That was, blocked. Blocked. that was Quinn, not me. When you Quinn, go back and watch, Quinn is, Quinn is playing defense before I even get to offense. <laughs> <laughs> that was Quinn. I want no. Block. I'm gonna I'm I'm stick up for Quinn this one time. You started the conversation first, 2K. I started to cover. I said, listen, it's gonna come. Say so you gonna get off. I told her what was gonna come in the package. I never cock block. <laughs> <laughs> I know mm. it was it was Quinn that said decline. That's what a block is coming in. <laughs> <laughs> but you did this essentially what she's saying is that you did the setup for him to block. Like you set it up, like Quinn would have been there to block if you said nothing. You were the foundation. No, I just gave her the perks of coming on the show. No, you nobody, can nobody can block me. That's number one. All right. Hey, I don't like this player hater nonsense now. I'm a lot of <laughs> And nobody could block me. And the only person that, that get perpetual round trip flights right now is Mika. So, yeah, that's it. It's only Mika. And I do got a beard cue. It just don't connect. That's not a beard, then. <laughs> Why you got a whole little face on? Yes, if it don't connect, it's not a beard. That's when true. When men be having that little thing is coochie hair. I call it little coochie hair. And we and we and we keep Mika in the best hotels, and we keep her on the best flights. And she, you can she gets, you can have the mother in law side of the. I fuck with Mika though, bro. Yo, can we get through these super chats because they piling up? And Mika is the only one that's at courts at right now. So it said, <laughs> "Hey, ladies, if you want to be in the chat, I mean, not a chat on the panel. I see y'all DM me on IG." Um, men, there's a wait list. Just DM me, say panel. If you're DM me for other stuff, I'm not gonna reply. I use your potty on Sundays. Um, this is the big thing and right and and let me give you all some incentive, ladies. If you if you look gorgeous and you got the right conversation and you make your pitch right, you can get a flight. <laughs> B, don't listen to him. What's your pitch, B? Clip what? Right? Hey, v, hold on, wait, wait, V, V. Listen, don't talk to me. Don't talk to me. V. Everyone knows v. my deal. You cannot find me on IG. You may find me on Discord, but that's about it. Hey, so v. You know, Q knows how to find me. So if you need to find me, find Q. That's it. Discord. V, V. Yes. Where, where are you at? In Canada? Canada. You oh, got man. your passport? I have my passport. <laughs> you want to come visit? And no. Me? No, because we, we just had this whole conversation. We just had this whole conversation. Half an hour ago. No. Hey, v, 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 V. We got uh, the upcoming NFL draft. You want to come to the draft? I don't Ooh. even watch sports. Oh, V, they don't gonna make it. You're not there for the sports, baby. It's for the main, girl. Listen, don't need to butter me up. I'm no, I'm no piece of toast. Like, come on now. 
V, 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 don't do that. You're missing out on the opportunity of a lifetime. <laughs> they they going to make V check in with Trick Trick. Girl. <laughs> <laughs> I go like, V check in. No, hey, you gotta check in. Big homie, V. No, nope, um, I can't. I can't, no, 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 v, stop, stop. I can't even message Anthony if I wanted to. You're, anyway, talk, so. you're talking yourself out of an opportunity. <laughs> you're nagging yourself out. It's a great experience. It's something that you've never experienced in your life. I promise you. You don't even watch sports. I want to be a great wanna, experience. No, I'm talking about hanging out with me. You want to come to the city? There's just I see, this, Q I see Q shaking her head. No, I'm going to follow her advice there. What do you mean? Q didn't call a flight? What you talking about? Maybe not to Detroit, no, but no, Q no, no, definitely Detroit. called a flight. Who want to go to Detroit? Don't <laughs> listen. Don't 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 think about Q. Q Q uh, is well taken care of. What is awesome. to do in Detroit? Okay. Let me go. Don't worry about Q. Don't worry about Q. V, you want to listen to me or you want to listen to your heart? <laughs> You know what? I'll, I'll contact Natasha and I'll, I'll I'll listen to her. Perfect. The offer might be gone by then. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> All right. Well, listen, you listen. The best opportunities are the ones that you take advantage of immediately. You got to learn how to say yes. But if you, yeah. this is the way you want to live, this is the way you want to live it. Then good. To, God, God bless you. God bless you. <laughs> this the big three right here. Mika, Q, and Logic. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> this is the starting lineup for the show with Ari off the bench. The <laughs> the best the best the availability. <laughs> 2K, aka Thanos, snapped his finger and a high end disappeared. 2K is inedible. Um, the more bodies a woman has, the more she sees sex the same way a man does. It breaks her natural feminine nature. No 2K. Shake my head. What? Is it whole haze? Oh, whole face include plan B's. Uh, oh, he sent it again. Thank you. All right, oh, we, got a super, we got a super chat right here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta pull it up because we, I think we messed it up. We missed it. Hold on, gosh, I just missed it. Give me one second. Go ahead and read the rest of the super chats. I gotta find it. Okay, unless a woman was human trafficked, stop making goose for being a damn 304. Great, okay, it. It. here it is. B, don't let the sisterhood miss. Uh, blah, blah. <laughs> that's, not even, that's not even worthy. A broke person. <laughs> like that. No, that's <laughs> uh, unless a woman. Oh, I read that. Um, Randy is the smartest person on the panel. What on this one? You missed the one. That He didn't send no money. Yes, he did. <laughs> and that's not even picture. These women be fumbling the bag when Anton offers to fly you out. Say yes. My but husband, but didn't the chat listen to what Enton said? He he said like at least three, four times. I be lying. They when they message me, I ignore them. So why am I gonna say yes? And first off, I don't even have I don't even have Instagram. So even if I said yes, what's gonna happen? Nothing. So well, he also said if you talk right and throw him a pitch, you might say he might. Let you <laughs> he said that too. Pick? What is this? <laughs> no, I will I will say that when you land, you gotta sign some paperwork. But other than that, you're good. Well, I don't care about people right now. You, you should go to a data party, baby. <laughs> 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 so walk out. Guess after Randy and Mika, someone had a hell phase. Um, <laughs> Randy, I'm going to call you out on the environment. Uh, excuse, I grew up in Inglewood, Cali, and chose to leave the hood and join the military, then, then be a statistic. Shout out to you. What the hey, F email is? Email me, V. Email my me, My damn head. Um, Anton, I didn't have a party when I graduated school, but my friends had parties when they came home from jail. Is this normal? <laughs> That's funny. Hey, what? Oh, <laughs> he said that he yeah, didn't have I, a party. I see what he's yeah. Um, Randy said men grow and don't make excuses for him due to bad moms. Now she cares about environment. When we on woman's neck, Mika tried to and see what woman did. Um, Randy smoking Puerto Rican weed, masculine energy. <laughs> You know, Randy donated to Black Lives Matter. <laughs> Randy, <laughs> like everybody wants to get smoked and loud fuck when she talks. She's the woman 2K said Q should take notes from. <laughs> Don't marry her, but damn, she a good time. Randy, we ain't got to sympathize. Anton, get your man. <laughs> Lord. <laughs> damn, I didn't even read these super chats. M never said Mika never said she wanted better. That's just how Randy took it. Growing in an unfortunate situation doesn't mean you can't learn from those who had it better than you. 
Um, y'all sound like five year old children. Thank you. What up, though? I'm from Detroit. My mother had me at 14. I'm doing very well. Your environment doesn't make you, your mindset does. Perfect. Yeah. Yes. Real, not trying to fake privilege. Um, if you got the dog in you, there's no excuse not to win. I'm from the inner city of Baltimore with dysfunctional childhood mindset. Mindset is ironclad. Um, Rosario defending toxic behavior. Mika, you're right. She just triggered because her and her people is toxic. Stop buying Jordans and leave. Start investing. Um, that's why this culture trash. You only just want to be validated. But being validated don't get the results and doesn't change your situation. Get to work. However toxic your situation was, many had it worse and made it work. Where's the accountability? It's on us. Haven't we been voting the same for the past 40 years? Um, every woman on dating apps act privileged as if a man under six feet that earns 60K is not good enough for the four out of wedlock children by four men. People from the hood that uh, make it are the most savvy. Rich kids are piggybacking off their parents. The transformation and struggles are different. It's crazy that that's crazy to say that, but it's crazy that growing up in a stable and peaceful environment is considered privilege. That should be the standard. Facts. I'm glad I made it out the hood. I've witnessed a murder, been shot and been shot at <clears throat> and robbed twice. I had to get the f out and change the environment. There's no excuse. Now I kick it with normal black and white folks. Y'all know well that it's bad to still fight, do drugs, and skip school, but you also know going to class is hard, but it will pay off, but you choose the latter, the later, and blame other for your poor choices. Um, I believe the solution is spreading awareness about the information. Whenever that person is ready, they'll tap in. <clears throat> um, shout out to Mika, love the, from Silver Spring and PG. I'm guessing that's yeah, you. that's, that's, that's Northern Ireland. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That picture, wow, though. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoyed the show tonight, y'all, as usual. Oh, uh, sorry. Shout out to Anton. Shout out to Q, the panel. Always fun to watch. Molly, DM me and IG, girl. Me too. <laughs> that, Kelly means, that, that means Q thinks you're cute. <laughs> no, no, I already in the no, chat. I need Molly for my dating show. I, I'm doing a dating show, and no, I need you some. Is wretched. Go, go, go. Yeah, no, it's, she don't actually have to go on the go date. Where did, go get some girls from Detroit. All right, oh and our Kelly God. boys have you. You have a passport. Oh, well, that was hilarious. Y'all well, gotta I'll, watch that clip. Go ahead, broadcast y'all shows. Let's start from the bottom. Two K. Go ahead. Where can these people find you at? Who me? Oh, yeah. You. Oh, we got one more super chat. Q is trifling. Says don't go to V. And no, she's living good with Anton, Mika, and Logic. One, she don't watch sports, <laughs> so that'd be a waste of a ticket for her to go watch uh, that. <laughs> Two, I said what I said. Who wants to go to Detroit for fun? Michael, if you had to go to any state in this in the U.S., are you picking Detroit first, Michael? Probably not. You're looking at this right now. Go ahead, y'all. Yeah, yeah. Y'all can follow me on uh, at Love and Sip Hop. Just DM me, say you from the Anton show, and I'll follow you back. Mm -hmm. um, you can you can find me at Love and Sip Hop too. I'm I'm the producer and I, 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 I run the shit. <laughs> That's a lot. Go ahead, uh, popular culture. What? Oh, uh, it's pop, yeah, pop culture, Mika. I'm on YouTube. I'm on Instagram, TikTok, everything. Pop culture, Mika. You can Google it too. Mm. Um, go ahead, Ari. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just say I like this. My Instagram is right there. If you want anything else, you gotta go find it. Boom. Y'all, she took my OnlyFans link. I don't have a OnlyFans. I'm married. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's not on social media. Um, nope, nope. But thanks for having me, Q. Hey, 2K. Fun as always. Let me know. I'll do it for real. Uh, if I got it in real life, I'll go on that show. As long as I ain't I don't want to get beat up now. <laughs> yeah, that, that show is right. Y'all should definitely shoot, tune into 2K show. Yeah, okay. Right. If, I mean, if you're interested to come on the panel... Fellas, it's a waiting list. Just put panel when you send me a message. I'll reply back on Sunday. Ladies, if you're interested, DM me. But, you know, I want to say thank you for everybody that came on panel that left, that 2K got kicked off. Um, <laughs> it's okay, ladies. It's okay. But thank you, though. Thank you for coming on panel, though, y'all. Y'all have a great night. I hope it works out. What y'all doing tonight? Later. I don't know what I'm talking about. But okay, bye. Bye. bye.